Welcome back to The Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone, part two I'm pretty sure we're on now, guys. So we are back. Yes, we are back in The Witcher 3, guys. So last time, we basically, we, we accepted Gontro Dim's proposal. Well, we kind of had to. He, he saved us off a boat and stuff. You know, you gotta, you gotta help out Gontro Dim if he saves you off a boat. You, you don't really want to say no. And uh, no, he saved us off a boat. We uh, <laughs> we went and saw all good. He um, obviously they they burnt down this house and we've just sort of left there, I guess. And uh, no, we've agreed to be sort of the proxy and we're gonna do some wishes for all good and we're gonna help him out and we're gonna have an amazing adventure. We got a lovely scar on our face, which sort of signifies we're in Hearts of Stone content, I guess. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting into the get. Uh, I'm really looking forward to getting into today's part, guys, because we're gonna do an amazing quest today. Do you guys all know what we've got in store for today? We got this quest right here. And if you guys have played Hearts of Stone before, even if you haven't, you're in for a treat, guys. But if you have played it before, you know exactly what this quest leads to. All I'm going to say, guys, we get to spend a lot of time with Shani. She's amazing. We get to have fun there. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, but before we get into that quest, I do actually want to say that I want to go and do this quest first. Which is the Runerite quest, which is like a... It's like a sort of... Uh, like a new mechanic thing, I guess, we can sort of work on. And I'd like to get going with that as soon as possible, because I believe you have to wait like a certain amount of time between each quest and stuff. We could just sit and meditate, but I kind of like the idea of going back there every so often during the playthrough. Oh, uh, speaking of um, the, the quest that's coming up. Okay, no, I, I don't want to spoil anything, guys. Look, I, I always do that. I also think we can get like a, a saddle and some sort of uh, cool armor and stuff from there. Um, a lot of you may be wondering why I don't actually start with this quest, because that quest gets you the um, the Witcher armor, which I want to be going for in, uh, in, this, in this like... Uh, playthrough i guess in this this hearts of stone content i want to be using that armor and the reason why i'm not going for it at the moment is because it's actually a i believe it's like level 30 or 4 30, sorry 39 or 40 so i um i, I basically i i don't want to um you know, I don't want to do a quest that's actually a higher level than the Dead Man's Party one and not even really be able to use the armor yet. I, I feel like we may as well start with the quest that it's sort of pushing us towards and uh, then we'll get the armor later down the line. And there is some weapons and stuff I believe we can get from the Dead Man's Party quest, or at least one weapon I can think of. So, um, yeah, I'd like to get that one too. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much the idea at the moment. I'm looking forward to today. The The quest coming up is really, really cool. I really love it. It's actually, you know, I'd say, I'd like to hear what you guys think, but it's probably one of my favorite quests in the game. Um, it's just really, really funny, and it's sort of, it doesn't necessarily show you a side of Geralt you don't see, but it, um, it shows you Geralt behaving in a way you wouldn't necessarily expect, which is, um, you, you, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, there's no way you're gonna guess what's gonna happen, but uh, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of fun. I, <laughs> I can't wait, I actually can't wait. Um, no, but I thought we'd just deal with Maker's these markers on the way. Here. I don't want to do Get too many markers out. to start off the part. I want to be able to get into the, uh, the rune right and the main quest as soon as possible. But I just feel like as they're literally on the way and, um, they're just monster nests. It's always fun to kill stuff. Um, I feel like it's a good idea to deal with that. Um, yeah, there is actually some, um, oh, hang on. There, I, you may have actually noticed that the visuals might look a little bit different. And what I've done, guys, and I've done this to try and help everybody out collectively. I know we've had a, a few issues with the old lighting on the parts. And I'm kind of like, I don't really want to use the um, adaptive brightness because I think it mutes everything a bit too much. So what I've actually done is gone and found a different lighting uh, sort of mod. Which looks... It's actually the same one I was using before. But it's a, uh, it's like a lighter version of it. And it should mean that nighttime, at least I, I hope, and when we're in caves and stuff, is a little bit brighter. So I'm hoping that that'll be a bit better for us. Um, I feel like that's a good thing to get. Um, that's pretty much all I've done, though, in regards to that. No. As I said, I, I feel like I keep on coming back to this. But it's, be it's because I, I hope you guys understand, but I I think this is some of the most fun I've had playing The Witcher. Like, I've really enjoyed playing The Witcher 2, 1, and um, 3 on the channel, like, obviously. But um, having played it for years and having not played Hearts of Stone properly in such a long time and then getting to it and uh, being able to sort of experience Make it with all you guys is just, it's Take amazing, honestly. It's so much fun. I love this story of Hearts of Stone. I love it so much. I think there is some amazing quests. It's just honestly amazing. Oh.
Amazing. Well, we oh, we leveled up. See, we're we're three levels or four. I think I think it is 39. The armor. We're three levels away. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with 39. It's a weird number, but I, I feel like that's what the uh, Viper armor. Elk. I'm, I'm, I, I look. It's the Viper armor. Okay, guys. You know. You know. It's the Viper armor. It looks very similar to the original uh, Geralt armor we have when we start. Like I think it's called like the Hunter's armor. They call it in the game. Something like that. Or at least the leggings are called, like, Hunter's Leggings. Maybe it's called, like, Care Mourn or... I don't even know. I know you can upgrade it to, like, Hunter Armor or something. No, but as I was saying, I am... Just look at this game. I don't know if it even looks that different That's with it, this Roach. lighting thing. It's literally the same mod I was using, just a lighter version. And I hope that... I hope that helps. I hope... I hope we can see now. You know, seeing is a wonderful thing. Oh, so these are the Afiri guys. I hope they don't find out about the old, um... Prince killing that we kind of took part in last time. I, I don't want that to be a thing. Should I set it to um? I'm gonna set it to day because I feel I don't want to be chatting to these guys and it just get to the middle of the night, especially considering what's about to come up. Okay, early morning chats with the fairy. We'll go talk to the room right first. We're gonna go talk to this guy's boss and then we'll uh, go and see that guy. Oh, I love the fairy. That's so cool. Look at his little tent. Oh, look at like the little pot. Just, uh, oh, it's cool. Okay, hello, room right. Greetings. Greetings, and praise the world in its never-ending creation. Don't take this the wrong way, but honestly, the world doesn't deserve much praise. <sighs> Nordlings. <laughs> Disagreeable always. Faces crinkled, soured, ready to quibble to death even a simple greeting. Aha! <laughs> but my tongue now has soured, while you for trade have come. Sadly... I can forge for you nothing. My belongings, tools inclusive, all lost. You described the the um the British pre pretty well then. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm British. <laughs> Crinkly faces and really sad about everything. <laughs> okay, um, oh, I love this guy. Maybe he can help with the weird sort of runes on our face. It's more of a scar, but uh, I don't know. Okay, right. Your trade, what exactly is it? Let me help. Right, Geralt, before we offer to help, let's let's work out what he's actually doing first. You're a craftsman, or a mage. Your tongue has no word to fit my trade. A scholar and artisan I am. Part craftsman, part mage. Gematria, runecraft. Familiar to you are these words? No. Runecraft seems pretty self-explanatory, though. True. Though my craft further ventures. Runes and glyphs I first make, then arrange into powerful magic words. Great practical applications as my art. For rune stones properly forged in a sword set so as to form a magic word, the blade more power grant than rune stones set haphazardly. Such words, too, can of glyphs be made and set in armor. Interesting. So, I guess, like, the glyphs we're using, he's he's basically saying that if, if you, um... They're, they're all, like, a symbol, I suppose, and it's actually kind of like a language, I guess, and if you form them in a certain way, it actually makes, like, a word or, like, a... Kind of, you know, I know, I know you guys might not might not like this comparison, but think like I guess like Skyrim uh, shouts. You know that you you have like you learn the sections of the shouts, right? Like, um, I, I can't remember any of the shouts at the moment. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you basically you have the um, the sections of the shout that you learn, then it makes it more powerful as you learn each bit of the shout, right? And that's pretty much I guess what he's saying. You learn each section of the the rune, you form them in a certain way, and it makes it more powerful. That's really interesting. Okay, you know what? Let's help this guy. Let's help him recover what he's lost. I want to get some cool runes. That sounds fun. Listen, folks sometimes hire me to solve their problems. Even retrieved a missing item or two in my time. For me, this you cannot do. I sailed upon a great ship. It sank, and my instruments took to the sea's dark depths. Buying replacements not an option? Of my own design, they were. Specially forged. A fortune it cost to make them. And all the coin that with me I had brought lies now in the murky abyss with my instruments. Oh, God. I mean, I'm just saying, guys. 
I mean, if you've watched this playthrough, you'll know how amazing we are at diving into sk particular skeletons <laughs> to retrieve <laughs> caches of treasure. So, I, I, you know, we could help. It depends where it is, but um, give us a little rowboat. I think we can go grab it, you know? I mean, we might be able to help each other. You know, oh, okay, fine, Geralt, fine. Seems your skills could be useful to me. Given that, I'd be happy to help you out. What do you say I get you the coin you need? You could pay me back in runes and glyphs. Is it certain your offer? A great sum I require. Tools of great expense I need to make even the simplest glyph. I make no mention of the more advanced or master crafted. Rest easy. Got a feeling this will be a good investment. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> God, 5,000, I got it, that is a lot of money. How much do I have? I have like, like 20,000 or something? I, th I think I spent quite a bit of money on the um, Grand Ma Master Crafted, Master Crafted Armors. You know what guys, obviously I've got to pay him. Obviously I've got to pay him. This is like a thing we got to do, but I don't want to be sold snake oil here, you know? I'm going to be checking on my investment every opportunity I get. Um, right, well, ask him some questions first, just to, you know, test the waters a bit. Can't help but wonder what brings you to our lands. A simple thing. For knowledge, a thirst. All he could, my mentor had taught me. The tongues of our lands I'd learned, of all our plants and animals I know the names. Risked that long a journey to learn new words? A life of plenty I would have lived at home, for the beauty and import of my art are respected. But such a life would be unfulfilled. Great and diverse is the world, for a pace continues its creation. A riddle it is, which through symbols speaks. The world's tongue to learn, I wish. The signs by which it speaks to discover, their syntax to master. Through this, to learn the principles of creation. Your art talk about like it's religion. Yeah, he does. It's really interesting. I love hearing about the um, the rune right thing and anything from a fear. Really, it's very interesting. The way you talk about your art sound more like a man of faith than scholarship. Faith and scholarship for you lie in conflict. Yet in my land, holy men are scholars. Wisdom, their source of esteem. The Afiri believe in any gods? From region to region, this varies. Raised I was to believe in one god, the world. <laughs> Symbols are God's speech. To study his words is to draw nearer to him. Symbols, meaning runes and glyphs. Mere signs are these. An attempt by men imperfect to describe the world. Yet a magic to them then is, and from God all magic issues. When runes I create, when into words I arrange them, this is prayer. And when into swords I enchant them, that is my benediction. Guys, I'm just saying, I, I feel like I could join this guy's cult. And I know it's not a cult, I'm just saying it sounds very culty, but it's a cool cult. I like his whole, you know, yeah. It's a way of him praying by putting saw, uh, glyphs on stuff, and then I, you know, go kill drowns and stuff. I like I like the whole um, philosophy there. Um, it's really interesting, because I suppose in the real world, a lot of the people that originally would have translated the, like, Latin text and stuff would have been priests. So, I think originally it was, wasn't it? So, it's kind of similar. At least it, it used to be a long time ago. Because I'm saying because a lot of the Latin text would have been, like, the philosophical things, right? Right, no, anyway, sorry, five, th <laughs> I don't know, look guys, I'm really listening here, and I'm really thinking, I'm, I'm enjoying it, I can also hear something that sounds weird, I think it's the windmill, it's fun, okay, look, we're gonna give him the money, guys, I'm, 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 I'm trusting this guy, I like what he's talking about, I, I agree with him. Got some coin on me, is enough? Uh, start, it is. Costly craft. Yet the costs do not end with coin. Need I shall also a jade stone of size substantial. Hmm. See what I can do. Not only does he need my 5,000 gold, needs me to go and, um... What is it he wants? 
He needs me to literally find a pickaxe to, to go and, like, mine. <laughs> okay, I'll go mine you some jade, mate. Don't worry. Geralt the Miner is on us. We're an ultimate. Maybe we should go and um, deal with the caretaker and get a shovel for this, too, you know? It might, might be useful. Okay, look. Oh, he's, he's got... Oh, I don't want to steal his book on the north. He's trying to learn about it, you know? Praised to be the world in its never-ending creation. Yes, yes. Okay. Aha, another merchant. So we want to chat to this guy. It's pretty dark. Well, not dark, but like, sad. <laughs> you know the lighting when it's just like, it's like that lovely Velen lighting. I'm quite happy with the mod. It looks very similar. I do notice it is a little bit lighter, but I, oh, I thought it was gonna, okay, look, okay. You're a long way from Ophir. A long way and with dangers fraught. But in our homeland, they say, in risk, there is honor. Got a ring to it. Not true in my experience though. Face plenty of risks. Honor, not so much. Because risk issues from intent. Important is this intent. The long passage I brave to admire the unknown and bring glory to myself and my liege. The world we must explore, virgin lands discover, new knowledge garner among our brothers than to spread. For is there in life a beauty greater than to admire the new, to stand in awe of the never-ending creation of the world? That mean I've landed in a camp of explorers and philosophers? Indeed. Your customs we come to observe, knowledge to exchange, and goods, naturally, to trade. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I was like, look guys, I'm gonna be honest, I, I haven't talked about this in a long time, but every time I record The Witcher, I still have my coffee, and I still have um, my, like, uh, sometimes I have raspberries and stuff, so it's you know it's a relaxing experience for me. This is recording and like making a video and stuff, but it's it's very much a journey for me, and I've got to have my snacks. <laughs> okay, right. I want to hear about his hand. I I love talking to the fairy. It's always fun. I mean, I hope they don't find out about me killing their uh, prince. Well, one of the princes. I guess there's multiple different kingdoms. Maybe they're from a different kingdom. Okay. Your homeland. Be glad to hear some tales about it if you've got the time. If time you have for of my home i could speak until your ears withered and your legs failed you what here they call ophir in truth is many diverse polities and peoples a land it is of vast steps mountains forbidding lakes clear as crystal and wild lands untouched a land of fallen empires kingdoms at their peak and tribes that know no monarchs yet remember in myth a time when the world was young you call any of these lands home? Yes. A town with towers to make Nilfgaard weep with envy. Of philosophers, doctors, mathematicians, and mages and enclave. But about these last you should, my friend, interrogate. For one among them is he, a rune right. I'll make it a point to talk to him. Oh, we, we already have. Um, wouldn't mind looking at your wares. Obviously we want to look at his wares, but we want to chat about the horses too. Uh, yeah, I just realized the other guy said that his, like, um, his ship crashed or whatever. I mean, at least he got his, his cool little tent there. But, I mean, um, like, his ship crashed and he lost all his stuff. We were on a ship <laughs> with Ophiri, <laughs> and it did crash. Uh, could you imagine if that was, like, linked somehow? So, like, maybe he was on our ship or he was on, like, a neighboring ship with the princes. And uh, I, I don't, you know what, I'm going to go with no, but it, yeah, yeah, weird coincidence, right? Okay, fine horse he got. Quite the mount you've got. Ah, yes. A loyal friend I have in Babietza, and she is wiser than many a man. Countless races we have won together. So, an explorer and a jockey in one. From where I come, small children ride, and not a gathering is by a horse race not crowned. Oh, well. Champion of Velen, I suppose Novigrad, technically, yeah? Yeah, Novigrad. And Cleaver's champion thing. Um, Skelliger, you know, we're the champion of all those races. We're like the, I'd say we're like the master of the, uh, I don't know about Northern Realms, but like a small section of the Northern Realms. So I feel like we, we should challenge this guy. We've got to throw down the gauntlet. Heard a lot of good things about Ophiri mares, their speed. Care to race? <laughs> Swift as the Western winds are our mounts. To prove this would be an honor. So race we must. Okay, we're having a horse race. I don't know what you call it. I guess just a race. We're having a race on our horses. Come on, Roach. He, I don't think he realizes the power of Roach and what, what I guess I'm using the Zeracadian saddle. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna show him how powerful the 
the roach meta is. Obviously, we're going to block him and completely um, screw him over. That's like, that's obviously, that's a big part of our winning. <laughs> Luckily, the refs don't see it. <laughs> we just, <laughs> I love that that's the strategy. And the, oh, oh, hang on. Uh, jump, is it B? B. I'm clicking B. I did it. Sort of, I think. Yeah, okay, amazing. See, he's still behind us, guys. I think we're doing pretty well here. I just have to not go off the track. I feel like it's kind of easy. Thank you. Get out of the way. Yeah, that's right. Everyone be impressed. Oh, I'm running out of stamina fast here. Look, I'm going to have to... No, 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 no. I will go at full... Oh, I nearly went off the track there. Look, I'm going to have to cut him off. Oh, there we go. Get out of the way, goats. Okay. Oh, are we almost there? Have I won? My. Oh, God, how long is this? I'm going to win. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to win. I have to win. It has to be done. We cannot let this Afiri guy be us. We, we have faced greater foes, you know? Oh, I think we've won. Slower. Afiri mares may be swift as the wind. Not quite as fast as my roach, though. I congratulate you. A saddle for your mount, your reward. A contest to commemorate. It will make you a rider even swifter. Thanks. Like your new gear, Roach? Ha! Much may be said of a man by how he treats his horse. Our myths tell of a time when love brought together the skies and the steppe. And from their union was born the first mare. Weak were the creatures called men. They fell prey to countless dangers. The mare nursed them. Her milk fed them. Strong they grew, and she let them saddle her. Warriors they became, and gave fight to their foes. The myths teach us to respect our horses. Noblest among all beasts. Beautiful story. Thanks for that and the race. God, I would love to go to Ophir in the game. I mean, obviously, if it existed, I'd like to go there, but I'd like to go anywhere. But, you know, in the game, I'd love to uh, go to Ophir. I think Geralt kind of seems like he'd love to, too, you know, when he hears about it. I mean, we did, you know, he, uh, let's just ignore the fact we killed a prince. Let's imagine Geralt shaves off all his beard and hair and puts some contact lenses in or something. <laughs> and he, he goes to Ophir. Maybe he go to one of the, he could, could go, he could, like, go to one of the kingdoms where he didn't kill a prince. And maybe one of the kingdoms that hates that one, I don't know. I would love to go there. It'd be so cool. I mean, all the stories and stuff, and the big towers, and I'd, I think it'd be cool. Okay, right. Wouldn't mind looking at your wares. What did you bring from Ophir? Mind if I have a look? Oh, okay. Right, what can we buy here? It's worse than my sword, but I feel like... Oh, there's like a fairy armor here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy it. I mean, I do have an fairy tunic, but... Is that like an Afiri crossbow? Oh, I gotta buy the Afiri crossbow. <laughs> oh, he's got coin cards, guys! Oh my god, it's a Gaunter card! Oh, oh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Uh, do I have this? I have no idea. Look, I'm just gonna buy it. If we see Gwent cards, I gotta buy them. Uh, they're the same, but they're Afiri, so we gotta buy it. That's worse, but, you know, it's Afiri, so we gotta buy it. Uh, do we need anything else here? I don't know. I could sell him some stuff, right? A fairy saddle, enhanced racing saddle. Yeah, you, you can, you can, you can, you can take that one. We'll put on the fairy stuff. I guess that's kind of like the Hearts of Stone horse gear. I mean, I won't put on the the fairy blinders, and maybe I will. I know it's worse, but I feel like that is the Hearts of Stone stuff. I'll sell him some of this armor while I'm here. He, we could give him the worse a fairy tunic. I guess we we only really need one. I kind of just like the idea of collecting the like. A fairy Nilf Guardian Northern Realms armor. I know there's loads of armor sets, but I feel like those are sort of the the main ones. So we have two A fairy sabers, but we don't really need them because we have that. Um, all the rest of these swords, I feel like we're gonna put in the storage soon to keep for two son. Yeah. Oh, hang on. This one's like quite cheap. I'll sell that one. Hang on. The ones I just sold to him. How expensive are they? Should I not have sold those? Oh crap, they're like really expect. Okay, you know what guys? It's fine. They they were nameless swords, we don't care. Um yeah, that'll do. I I feel like all the hide and stuff I kinda wanna keep for leather. 
our craftsmen's goods. You see worth in them? Quite a bit, I'd say. Ah, these are nothing compared to what I could offer had I not lost my prize diagrams. How'd you lose them? To thieves. In our travels, I and my companions surprise attacked by local ruffians were. The diagrams, their loss. I bemoan not so much as I do one of my comrades. Killed in the violence. God. So assuming this guy came with the rune right, <laughs> they were on- the sorry, I shouldn't laugh, it's sort of like morbidly funny, <laughs> like, they were on their way here on a boat, the boat crashed, they landed, they were traveling, and then they were robbed, and still they managed to make it here with a few shields and stuff, like, and they came here to just experience the northern realms there, oh god, you know what, we're gonna be the nice guy and we're gonna help, and obviously we, we would help anyway. See if I can't find your diagrams. Recover them for you. These instructions, when followed, produce items worthy of a king. Tell me where you were attacked, remember? A crossroads, not far. Forgive me. For this area I know poorly. The detailed directions I cannot provide. North of the spot stood the residence, uh, near ruin. Should be able to find it. Okay. Right, farewell. Take care now. Go, and in the world glory, its never-ending creation be praised. Farewell. Okay, amazing. So we- oh, we got um, a new quest. Okay, well, I think, before we do any more side quests, I do want to get started on Dead Man's Party. I actually want to do that entire little- little bit of, um, Old Gid's wish. So we'll do that first, and then I guess we'll go and help get this guy's diagrams and things, because, um, I want to sort of collect the diagrams. Uh, I, d I can't remember what level these things are. I think they might be higher than we are now, off the top of I don't know, maybe? Um, but I think we should start with that. Obviously, we've got to put Roach's new armor on. That's like a thing we got to do, of course. So, we got the Ethiri blinders. I don't know if they look... Oh, they do look different to the Zeracanian ones. They're worse, but, you know. We've got to try it out. Oh, Roach, you're looking sharp. Looking really, really sharp. That looks cool. I like it, Roach. Oh, look at this. The saddle looks amazing. I really like the saddle, actually. Maybe we should... I don't know. I feel like maybe putting worse armor on is not the best idea. Uh, how does it look with the Zeracanian one on? Like, how does... Does that look good, or does it look better with the... Look, we're all about cosmetics now. We've reached that point in the game. I kind of like that one more, maybe. Oh, although I feel like maybe just the full Ophiri set for now would, might be worth it. Maybe we'll get better ones down the line, but... Yeah, you know what, Roach? That'll do. That'll do. Okay, so, I think we have to go to Oxenfurt for this mission. Yes. Okay, so we'll go... I guess we'll just go there now. Um, and then later on, we'll deal with a couple markers and stuff. I just feel like at the start of the parts, I, I kind of want to move in the direction of, um, you know, doing... Uh, I don't want to say... I, I don't know. I don't just want to start the, the, the parts with, like, 100 markers and stuff. You know what I mean? You know what? I might... Yeah, uh, I'll go from the Novigrad gate. I like walking into Oxenfurt. I feel like it sets the mood a bit. Uh, no, but I, f I feel like I want to start them doing a few quests and things. I feel like that m might be a bit more fun than just getting in with markers and stuff, unless I really need to. I'll do some markers later on in the part, I think. I plan to do a bit of a longer one today, as I um, enjoyed recording it so much last week. And I'm... Oh, it's, oh, been, it's been fun to record today so far, guys. I love the Afiri thing. I, I really like um, meeting those guys. So that's where the... The um, open sesame mission ah. is for the other wish all geared wanders to do, but we're gonna do this wish first. Crawl back under your rock. See, look, I'm not gonna let them ruin my mood. All right, I'm happy. I'm doing crazy things for a really powerful dude and helping out um, a guy whose head I cut off, and he was fine. It was a lot of fun. Fun times were had. Fuck. A spare a cup or two. I'm fine. Look, God, I've just I've just forked away five thousand gold to a guy I literally just met. I'm just gonna, um, have it all on. Just, just checking. If I forget to cut this bit out, guys, um, you can see I did have it on Death March still. <laughs> okay, we're at the house. We're gonna go in, we're gonna see Shani and see how it goes. I also want to just quickly say, guys, you might have noticed that I started the part exactly where the last one ended, and I kind of want to do that for every Hearts of Stone part, at least, unless I end somewhere, like, in the middle of nowhere. Just because I feel like it sort of, it, it keeps with the story a bit more, you know, how we, um, it's sort of like we're all going on this little journey together and from place to place and all the rest. Right, okay, let's go in. Hello. Oh. 
Oh yeah, she was um helping toads poison victims, right? Because the the uh, water got poisoned or something. We'll loot her house first. It saves looting it later on. Of course, we gotta loot the house, guys. It's like a it's a thing. We need all this alchemist powder for the potions we never make. <coughs> I, w I wouldn't be smoking if you're coughing. Burns. Maybe it's medicinal. <laughs> I'm hot, it burns. <laughs> Takes a... Proceeds to smoke. <laughs> okay. Um, a little butter knife. Really useful stuff we're getting here, guys. I like it. I like it. Everything's going well here. Oh, a book we have. I like that. Some more, some more herbs. I'm sure Shani doesn't need them. Um, oh, a note. Oh. oh, a fire swallower. Oh, I was at Loch Muin. I'm not going to read it all, but just scanning it. Oh, this was when this was literally when we went. This was literally when we went. Oh my god, they're talking about Saskia here. Oh, that's very cool. It's, it's basically just a summary of what we did in The Witcher 2. If you guys want to read that, uh, I think I've shown all of it. You can pause. Um, I'm just I'm scanning these little things. I think this is just like a prescription that Shani has given someone. So, that, yeah, this is her house, I guess, in Oxenfurt. Or, or her medical practice? I don't know. I don't know what this is. I'm going to assume it's her house. It's got to be. Maybe? I don't know. Would she... I, I feel like Shani would open her house to a bunch of um, strangers. To, to, to make them well. I mean, look, we don't, she doesn't need to know about all the stuff we're taking. She, she doesn't need to know. She won't, she won't notice that we've just, imagine she came downstairs and she just saw Geralt, like, <laughs> rifling through everything and all the plant pots, <laughs> just, like, ripping them out, like, they're, they're, like, stuffing it in, like, a little bag. <laughs> I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The Hammies don't got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you alright? What's that on your face? Long story. <clears throat> We're conducting important business. Yous can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number that medic. Not like a scholar at all. Uh, what? <laughs> that's that's such a weird thing to say. To... It's like, oh, hey friend, hey Shani, we're we're friends. You know what are you doing? She's she obviously she made fun of our face a bit, but we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. No, I'm, she was just concerned, all right. And then this guy's like, oh, tasty, your your friend who and I just met you, friend. I mean, scholars aren't necessarily ugly. What do scholars look like? Uh, for that one might be a bit sarcastic. I, f I feel like I just want to be blunt about it. Scholars aren't necessarily ugly. That that is very true. So, think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, cause they've not got beauty. Is that right, lads? Oh, aye, mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a channel pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us, isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? Oh, uh, hmm. Not your business. Shani's not my type. Shani's a beautiful woman. You know what, guys? It's it's not his business if we like Shani or not. It's not his business, all right? He doesn't need to know anything. Sorry, none of your business. Come on. This some kind of secret? You embarrassed? She's quite fetching, and you're, well, none too handsome, but a witcher. That's is like your type. Come now, fess up, you fancy her or not? Damn it, I'm getting peer pressured by a bunch of Redanian soldiers, guys. What do I say here? Shani's not my type. I wouldn't say that's true. Obviously, guys, as you know, we're with Yennefer. I've been very good this playthrough. I didn't sleep with Kira. I didn't sleep with Triss. I didn't sleep with Sasha. I didn't sleep with the... Can't remember her... Oh, Yutta? Was that her name? I think it was Yutta didn't sleep with, you know, any of the options I've been given, other than Yennefer. You know, we, we ignore the Witcher turn one, as, as I will use the Geralt excuse, we'd lost our memory. Um, even in the Witcher 1, we, we went with Triss, right? I don't know. Um, you know what? I think Shani's a beautiful woman. I think that's a fair thing to say. I think if Yennefer was like, hey, Geralt, do you find Shani attractive? I'd be like, 
Chat is a beautiful woman, Yennefer, but, you know, you're the one for me. I can I could admit someone is an attractive person without, you know, being madly in love. Yeah, I, I want to say that. However, this could be one of those, you know, pushed extra forcefully situations where I say this, then Geralt suddenly becomes one of the lads and starts freaking, you know, ke kegging a, a beer or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's going to happen, but I feel like it's not going to represent what I mean here at all. Um, okay, we're, we're just going to say it. It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you. In Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis. Adernian, elves, dwarves, halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. That is true, Shani. I, I could see you helping um, uh, everyone, I guess. Um, you know, I'm wondering about... Um, I know I mentioned this before, but I'm sort of wondering about the whole Radovid situation again. I, I guess we just assume that there's like a general running things, or maybe Ada, you know, Ada in our Witcher 1 playthrough to technically marry Radovid. So maybe, maybe, maybe she's running things. Until obviously, inevitably, Nilfgaard take over. Um, okay, where have you been these past years? I guess the last time we would have seen Shani, I, th I guess we talked about this last time, but it would have been in the Vizima Temple Quarter when she was treating the Ketrona victims. Um, and then we didn't sleep with her or anything. We didn't even have her as like a love interest. We kind of just were good friends with her. I think we had a little little drinking party with her, Zoltan and Siegfried. <laughs> God, Siegfried. <laughs> Remember him? <laughs> okay, right. Um, right, yeah, I want to know what she's been up to. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Hmm, must have been in Bezima. Um, yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press-ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready. For at any time, the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Ah, so they addressed Radovid being dead, so he is canonically dead. So this does take place after we had Radovid killed. So that means this must take place probably probably after the end of The Witcher 3, I guess. Um, I obviously, like, I, I'd assumed that, that was when it did, did took place, uh, when it does take place, but um, obviously they have to design the, the expansion in such a way that you could theoretically do all of this before the base game. Um, so it's interesting. So they do have... Oh, crap. <laughs> So, so sorry. Um, so they do have little mentions of things. So I'm assuming it's probably what I said before, like a general or maybe Ad is currently running things, but Nilfgaard will take over. It's like how in the ending it said that we go and live in like a cabin with Yennefer, which obviously um, hasn't happened just yet. Um, okay, right. Need your help. Shani, I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. She keeps bringing up the mark on our face, guys. You know, I'm, I'm conscious about it. Look at it. It's, it is really bad now I look at it. Like, if you actually look, maybe you'll get a better look later, but it is actually sort of scarred into his face. It's not just like a like a mark or a tattoo or whatever. It's, it's literally... I mean, you did see, I guess, gone to kind of burnt it into his face. Like, you can see where it's like blood and like dried and with the skin kind of like his other scar on his eye but obviously more fresh 
Okay, long story, waste of words. I kill. Oh no, we gotta tell Shani what happened. God, no, I think about it. We, 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 since we last saw Shani, even in just the Hearts of Stone, we got captured by a fairy prince with some merchants. We got on a boat. We met Gaunter. We had a crash. We killed a bunch of soldiers. We went back. We chopped the guy's head off, but then he lived. And then we agreed to do some wishes for him. And now we're here. And we met some fairy dudes. Christ, yeah, lots happened, actually. Right, I killed a prince and was taken prisoner. Hmm, where do I start? All right. Monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad. And this toad was actually a prince. And Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. It's the truth. Uncolored, I swear. When I killed the toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? Oh, um, hmm. Okay, we don't really know. Uh, that is true. We don't. We don't really know. Someone powerful. That is also true. I think we can recognize that. A merchant of mirrors. Um, hmm. I feel like these two are the the actual answers. If we wanted to sort of let her know kind of what we know, this one probably more so. A Merchant of Mirrors, I feel like, is the sort of cop-out answer. But, you know, maybe we don't want Shani to be too involved with Gaunter. I feel like, you know, at least if I was in Geralt's position, I wouldn't want to be sharing information about Gaunter just with uh, everybody. Um, not not out of, like, a... Like, you know, just because I feel like the more someone knows about Gaunter, the more they get on Gaunter's radar. So maybe if I just tell her the answer Gaunter gives, you know, unsuspecting people... Maybe that's the best thing here. And technically, it is true. He is a merchant of mirrors. So I'm going to go with that. Met him a while back in White Orchard. At the time, he claimed he dealt in mirrors. Mirrors? Buy one from him that grants your wishes? Something like that. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorceress or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor, too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Me neither. Don't whine. Oh, good God. <laughs> I can't... I can't oh, who would like it? Oh, yeah, I gotta go and just perform a bit of, um... Not necromancy, but, you know, I gotta revive the dead. And she's like, oh, I don't really like it. And he's like, oh, stop whining. It's normal. It's fine. I guess for Geralt, it's pretty normal. Um... Uh, me neither. You know, yeah, me neither. We're, we're not a big fan of it. Obviously, we're happy to be on the adventure, but me neither. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Higher Ox, or... Famous Redanian dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. Oh, thanks, Shani. You know, I look forward to um to to the to the working with Shani. You know, we, we do a lot of this witchering stuff alone. We we meet strangers along the way. It's nice to have a friend come back and give us a hand. I want to go find that book actually. What was it? The not that one. Um, ah, famous Rodania, so we can actually read this. I just want to read the section on Von Everex. I feel like it's good to learn a bit more information about them when we can, because we don't really know much about Olgierd at this point. 
Um, Von Everick. The dynasty's founder, Ratibor Von Everick, was knighted by King Vrydank the Elf for feats of exceptional wartime prowess in the Gulf of Praxida Theatre. Uh, dynastic Estates, or Dynastic Estate, I think it's Dynastic. Uh, dynasty? Dynasty? D I don't know. D uh, d I don't know, actually. I think Dynastic is how you say it. Maybe in, if you're English, I don't know. Um, dynastic Estate, Oxenfurt Region. Von Everick Manor, surrounded by lush gardens, famed for incorporating a monumental family crypt. Dynastic Beast, Wild Boar. Notable representatives, Bohumil, or Bo Bohumil? Bo Bohumil, I think? Von Everick, Castellan of Rogovine Castle. Honoratina? Honoratina? Um, on a on a ration on a ration uh, on a ratina on a ratina I don't know on a ratina whatever on a ratina okay von Everick patroness of the artists of Oxenfurt Castatis or Castatis von Everick um, field hetman of the crown recent decades have seen the von Evericks fall upon hard times their wealth and status having steadily and gravely declined so things aren't going too well for the uh, the old von Evericks interesting the more you know so obviously we gotta we gotta search the rest of Shani's room. Um, I guess we'll start in this room. So we got some water, that's nice. We got some, we got some dwarf spirits. This feels really weird, Geralt. Bounds and hymns. <laughs> What's Shani been reading lately? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, a wedding invitation. This seems personal. Let's have a read. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, yeah, the wedding thing. Okay, right. Let it be known that their children, having grown to share the most profound and noble of sentiments, and having decided to seal that bond in hallowed rites, in keeping with ancient custom, the parents of Aldona Lamch and Jonas de Boga, um, jo Jonas de Boga, uh, do hereby request the presence of Shani, or Shani, surname illegible. Oh, god damn it. God damn it, CD Projekt Red. You, you just couldn't let us have the name, huh? We're gonna make up a name. It'll be Shani, um... Beauregard. No, I don't. I don't know. I got that as a boga. Okay, right. Along with an escort of her choosing at the betrothed's at the betrothed's matrimonial ceremony and the celebration celebratory feast to follow. Right. Well, nice. Now we're learning. We're learning more things. What else has she been reading? It's, look, Yennefer can't know about us searching Shani's room. Okay, this cannot be something we we let Yennefer know about. Oh God, all these sick people down here. I feel sad for them. You know. <laughs> Strangely topical. You guys are right. You're all coughing as well. It's all right. Look, we're immune to disease, guys. It's fine. Are you doing all right? <sighs> nah, he's fine. He's just yawning. What about you? Okay, they all seem fine, guys. <laughs> okay, right. Oh, it's it's like the middle of the night. Um, well, not not really. Okay, this is a good point to uh, test the lighting, I guess. There was like a thing to touch that, I don't know. Um, right, we're just going to go straight to the crypt. I'm not going to mess around, guys. As I said, I want to just do this mission. I, I really enjoy it. I'm looking forward to doing it, and I don't want to uh, be doing any markers at the moment. I think I'll do some after we finish this whole little section, but I, I just want to go straight there. We we uh, we also can't keep Shani waiting, you know? I only have 17,000 crowns now. Damn, I need to get some more money. Um, you know, actually, we'll we'll start there. We'll get this while we're up there, and we'll um go down and round. We won't bother with that one or anything. We'll just go. Um, we'll just get this monster nest and go down. May as well. We have a signpost there. It clears it off the list. Don't have to do it later down the line. Oh, it's a wyvern. It's a high level wyvern too. Hang on, wait up. Let me just let me just work this out. Hang on. Hopefully, hopefully we can uh, get some poison up on this thing. Bleeding. That'll do. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, that that was some good, some good switching around there. I like that. Okay, interesting. Right, guys, we're gonna have to time this perfectly. You ready? Got him! I got him! I got him, guys! I got him! Expertly done, I, if I don't say so. Like, ignore me getting hit with Quen on. It doesn't count if I got Quen on. Right, I want to let him come to me, and I want to finish him off like the Griffin in the trailer. Oh, I, cl I clicked the wrong thing. Hang on. Okay, that was amazing, guys. I don't want to hear anything else. I absolutely love that Igni sign. That is so cool. Oh, that was amazing. I feel like we did really well killing that then. <laughs> I don't know why. I just felt like 
Very few mistakes were made. I think I already had the health loss from something else. Nest. Maybe. To I don't know. It. it was clean. I did get hit with the Quenon, but as it has Quenon, doesn't count, guys. Nice. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to think for. Oh, oh I thought I was going to die then. That was a slight. That was a few feet more than Geralt can handle, I felt. Uh, it turns out I was wrong. Um, I want to set the time to about. Yeah, like 5 p.m. I feel like. I kind of like the idea of going to this. This. Um, crypt? I don't know. Cemetery? Mausoleum? Oh! Hello. You dead? Oh, it's dead. Okay. Uh, we, we could go at like 6, maybe. Well, uh, we'll probably be 6 by the time we get there. Okay, Roach. Come to me. I hear another wyvern. Should I go and kill her? I'll go kill the other wyvern to prove I'm not a complete coward, guys. Like, I can kill any wyvern that, that challenges me. It's challenging me flying around up there, thinking it's safe, thinking it can't be killed by the Witcher Geralt. Geralt can kill any wyvern, even level 14 ones. This is like, it's like killing low levels just, just to make yourself feel better. Okay, look, I'm gonna have to make an aim here. It's, it's moving around too much. It's like it's floating. It's like it's swimming, kind of. Majestic. Okay, I missed. Right, we're gonna witch a trailer this guy. Hang on, I just gotta get him to. Hey, get back here! No one escapes from me. God, Geralt, be more accurate. Okay, right. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Amazing. Right, okay. See, look, guys, it challenged us to a, a game of uh, flying and running away, and we, we wouldn't allow it. It's not something we allow on our, um, on, on our Geralt. Unless, obviously, they're uh, really high level and we don't want to deal with it. <laughs> then, then it will be allowed. <laughs> okay, well, oh, we have been here before. I remember coming here in the playthrough accidentally. I think that's why I have the Von Everick um, uh, mana signpost already. Okay. Oh, it is really cool. She was right about having cool architecture. Right, Roach, you wait so there. I'm going to walk over. Oh, there it is. The Von Everick Estate. Oh, look. How, I love this bit, actually. You get a better view from the other side when you can see the bridge, but there's a little waterfall there. It's very dark. Has it, has it hit the time yet? It's actually still five. That's crazy. I should probably heal myself before I... Um... Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Look, it's only a tiny sliver. Okay. I think she's over there. Yeah, I see her. Should we make a save? I'm making a save. Okay, Shani. Never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. <laughs> like how she's just like, well, that, you know, I'm only covered in blood at work, Geralt. To be fair, we're covered in blood at work too. <laughs> we got that in common. Um, never mentioned you were getting married. A wedding? Who's? It's. I like how both these options are assuming we didn't loot her house to death. <laughs> I mean, we already know, guys. We know whose wedding it is. We know the names of the people. It was, um, Bogar. I remember him. I remember the, 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 yeah, I remember that. And we know it's not her wedding. You know what, guys? We're going to be playful. We're going to pretend we didn't search her house. <laughs> it feels so weird doing that, but look, we got to read all the notes. It's the thing. Okay, right. Never mentioned you were getting married. Yeah, sure. We'll go with that. Oh. Didn't know you were getting married. <laughs> not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Oh, uh... I mean... Um... Yeah, I mean... That was your no Oh yeah, the note. Yeah, I remember guys when I I drew attention. I drew attention to it when we were actually getting the notice to go and see all geared. There was the one about the wedding. What what was it? It was like I need a. I need a a man with, a, with that owns like a decent robe or something or some sort of garment or something, and uh, he has to be intelligent or something. That, that, yeah, was that hers? Wait, wait. That was your notice. What notice? The one posted by the seven cats. 
Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. If any intelligent, amusing, handsome, none too old nor none too young man owning at least one decent looking frock. <laughs> no, that's not mine. So, will you go with me or not? Aww. <laughs> oh, no, no, that's not mine. Anyway, do you want to go? You know what, guys? I think I'd be glad to, and I don't. Th yet again, we're just going as friends. I do. I do have to signify and and let this be known, just in case Yennefer rids the old mind. No, I'm kidding. Just because, obviously, we're going for Yennefer. I've been very good. I've been very solid about that. I feel like I've, I've obviously been committed to her, and I feel I actually think you can you can actually go the Shani route and still get that ending. But to be honest, guys, I would feel really guilty about that. <laughs> I mean, because, uh, you know, it's we've sort of agreed we're going to live together and after it's all done, I mean, we haven't seen her for a little while now, but, um, you know, she's busy, she's doing her thing, we, we, it's fine, it's a, it's a long distance thing at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll go as friends, and if Yennefer asks, I went with a friend that I knew from my times adventuring, and they wanted someone to go, and I was like, yeah, we'll go, and it wasn't as like a, um, a boyfriend or whatever, it was just, just as friends, like no, no dating, nothing like that, we're just, we're going as friends. Yeah, be glad to. Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Oh, god damn it. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah, too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Oh, I want to have a look at this view. Look, Shani, it's not a date. <laughs> you can't tell Yennefer I went on a date to you with a wedding, all right? That's not going to fly. <laughs> And no, guys, it's not because oh, I gotta, I gotta do everything for Yennefer. I'm not, I'm not the dog as that as Geralt has been referred to. Oh, there's a deer over there. That's cool. Or a, a book, or a, I guess a book is what you call it. Or a, it's not a stag. Stags are way bigger and also, yeah, whatever, a book. Um, yeah, that's nice. No, it's not a date, Shani. Listen, we're just going as friends. Obviously, if I had to choose personally for me in in uh, real life, Shani would probably be the best option. You know, she's not. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. If there's any trouble, just yell. Okay, it is a bit creepy, Shani. I'll give you that. But to be fair, you did literally just go down to a sewer, full well knowing that there was a, a, a man-eating giant toad, you know, with loads of decomposing bodies and slime and disease. I, I feel like a crypt is maybe a step, step down. <laughs> but I don't know. Honestly, I'd rather be in there than here, I think. I don't know, I guess here you, at least you can run away. But still, it's like, this is kind of creepy too. I don't know. Right, okay. Um, is there anything we can say to her? Be careful. Please. Oh, I will be. Wouldn't want to give you even more work. Change your mind? Nope. Just about to go in. Okay, guys, she's starting to doubt us. We can't look weak. We've got to go in. Be safe, Shani. Oh, God. Oh god, Shani, I was so wrong. It's much creepier in here. Now, <laughs> look, guys, we've been through worse. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. That was very true. Didn't it? Didn't it say that in the thing we read that they have like a massive, lavish thing? Well, obviously, guys, as as you know, is the tradition. We got to loot old Gears family's um, heirlooms and stuff. We got to take that. Oh, that's the sword I was talking about. I remember you get it here, I think. Yeah, and it's actually better. I'm gonna use it. Obviously, we like the Witcher gear. We have our runes on that, but just because it's slightly better, you know, it's hearts of stone stuff. I feel like I want to use that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use that for now. It's the Ophiri thing. We're representing our, you know, the, our friends, the rune writing stuff. Aha, uh -huh, more money. I like the idea that we're just. Looting old Gids, <laughs> family's possessions. <laughs> you just, I, I would love like a like an animation of like realistic um, Geralt looting. So it's like Geralt's like, yeah, I'll see you in a bit, Shani, and he just runs down here and just starts grabbing everything and jamming it in his bags. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, it's creepy. Wraiths. Oh, wraiths. How you like that silver? Okay. 
I was actually discussing recently, or I, I saw a comment, because I, I mentioned it a lot throughout various parts, I'm sure you guys know. But what do you think my my worst enemy is in this game? Like, I always say, this is oh, this is the worst enemy. Like, I'm fighting Wraiths, which has definitely been in the mix at one point. Um, I got a comment that was saying that someone was determined after watching all the parts and stuff that they think my worst enemy is probably Sirens. And you know what? I might even adhere to that one. Oh, there's another one. Oh. I might even adhere to that because Sirens, um, that was awful in Skellige. Having to, like, wait for them to go into the water and crossbow them and, you know, all that stuff. And then when they were ripping apart my boat, that, that was not fun. You know what? I should use the, um, the Mundus bombs. I gotta group them up. I don't, I don't wanna use one bomb on... Oh, that was, that was lucky that he came in then. Okay, I did, I did hit them, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did. For some reason, they're just, like... Fine, show me what you Oh god, I'm not doing- hang on. I got- I gotta use this, I think. I did hit them with the moon dust bomb, maybe it's like a dime routine one I need? I thought the moon dust bomb stops stuff from like shape-shifting or whatever. I, I thought that was like the thing it does. Okay, I think we got all of them. God, that was four wraiths. Last of the surprises. Sure hope so. We can only hope, Geralt. We can only Should hope. Around. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll make a quick save. I like having saves at all these various bits in case I want to explore it again at some point down the line, you know? Um, we should look around, okay. Votive fire, laid in honor of the dead, old custom. Ooh, okay. Um, I think if we go to the Vladimir bit of this, it kind of skips us being able to inspect everything else. So I'm gonna inspect everything first. Honoratina. Loving wife of Kestatis, died in 1257. Ah, uh, it was Honoratina and Kestatis, not Kestatis. Okay. So she was, she's uh, one of the people we read about in the book, I guess. Hmm. Old tombstone. Inscriptions almost worn off completely. So I think this is actually all written in uh, Polish, right? I, might, I could be wrong. I, that's what I heard or gathered. I don't really know much about the Polish language, really. But wouldn't it be cool if there was a mod that made it English? Honestly, I think it kind of adds to it, having this alternate world. It almost feels like an alternate world text, doesn't it, if you don't recognize it? Kest... Kestatis? Not who I'm looking for. It might be cool, though, to just have a mod where they change the assets to all be English, just as an option. Um, not kind of unnecessary, though, because you kind of... It'd be nice to be able to read everything, I guess, but... Okay. More crowns. Eulalia von Everek. Died in 1250. Eulalia. Okay. I think there might be a couple more. Um, I just don't want to miss any before I go to the old uh, Vladimir bit. I think his bit's over there. So yeah, there's another one. Alexei, age 19. Beloved son and brother. God, 19. Um, there looks like there might be something down here. There's a wall I can break, but I'll do that later on, I think. I want, I'll get this bit done first. Oh, we're really... We're really looting his ancestors now. We're, like, taking rings off their fingers. We're taking pretty some prized ornamental mug. This guy's got a plate, maybe he liked eating. Maybe it's, like, a joke. This guy has a ring with an emerald in. We could pry out the emerald and give it to the old, um... Uh, rune right. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, right, we got everything. We, we are literally t uh, grave robbing all geared at this point. <laughs> More money. <laughs> Take that. Might be some of uh, Vladimir's. Okay. Mm, probably shouldn't touch that. Yeah, a creepy sword in a, in a ruin. Probably not the best idea. Or a crypt. Okay. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Bohumil, that's his name. That's how you say it. Bo Bohumil. I thought it was like Bohumil or Bohumil or something. It's Bo Bohumil. Okay. Right, let's start doing this ritual, guys. We got this. Life and death. Fire and blood. Return and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. The torches are going out, guys. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Return, and walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. 
Oh, guys, this is starting to really get going. <laughs> okay. Right. Ready to summon the dead, everyone? Let's do it. Fire and blood. Life and death. I summon ye whose blood I have brought. Fire and blood. Life and death. You have summoned me, stranger. Why? Name's Geralt. Came to wake the ghost of Vladimir von Everek. Who you are, and why you've come matter little. For you'll not leave this place alive. Are you Vlad's ghost? Who asks after my grandson? It matters not, Honoratina. What I wonder is, how this mortal obtained the family's blood? For Von Everick's rise only for Von Everick blood. True. Yet to my knowledge only one of our line yet lives. Olgird. Then we converse with the man who spilled the blood of your grandson, Kestetis. Mean none of you are Vladimir? It's Olgird, his brother, who sent me. You will meet Vlad soon enough. Yet all geared, you will never see again. Oh god. Okay, we we've angered the old geards, guys. I knew this was gonna happen. We robbed them to death. I mean we can't tell all geared about the fact we we robbed his family's crypt and then we we we're now killing his ancestors. That's lots that's good. That's good. This is um this is certainly what we wanted to do. You know what, we're getting back here. This is revenge for the Toad Prince. We're killing his ancestors, again. We're robbing them. Um, you know, it's all... They, you know what, guys? They attacked us. We're only trying to help them out. We're trying to give his brother the time of his life, and now we're getting attacked by his, um... You know, these guys. The, the ghost crew. <laughs> the, the Von Everett ghosts. Never learn. Oh, God. Okay. God, this is kind of a... It's like fighting a bunch of kind of higher, higher level bandits, I, I'd probably class them as. Oh. Luckily, one doesn't have a shield. I guess that wouldn't really work. Is that guy literally hitting me with like a bottle? I think he's hitting me with like a club or a bottle. Oh, we got him. Nice. My, my. Ordinary horse sons, those Von Evericks, eh? Who are you? The rogue you seek, Vladimir von Everick, brother to Olgird. Ah, oh, forgot I cannot even scratch my stones. Though in point of fact, they've not itched much since I died. Didn't want to fight your family. They started it. I'm dead, not blind. I preferred to see how you'd handle those snobby pricks. And Grandmum too. Besides, what harm could you do them? They're dead as it is. Now tell me how you came into Olgird's blood. If you hurt him, I fear I shall have to kill you. Got it from a mutual acquaintance of mine and Olgird's. I'm here on important business. I'm a swiving corpse, with no interest in important matters, yours or any other buckers. The sole thing I miss is feasting, corporal diversion, so to speak. But alas. Okay, this is Vladimir, guys, Zolgir's brother. One of my favorite um, side characters, I guess. <laughs> He's great. He's <laughs> if you guys haven't played Hearts of Stone before, you're in for a treat, guys. Right, folk come here often. Get a lot of visitors? At times, not often. For when someone does drop by, the whole band comes out to play. Fun-loving family. True! We're famed for our love of revelry and rumbles. We von Evericks have brawled and raided for generations. It's tradition. Naturally, with raids comes loot. So we always had the means to celebrate. Right lavishly. Towards the end of my life was when things went sour. 
But no point poking at old wounds. Just days before I died, my brother claimed he'd found a way to dig us out, restore our state. Hmm. So yeah, he references it again. And obviously we see his manor house is all gone, so clearly Olgird's family was not in a good position. But now we're learning that Olgird had found a way to dig them out of it, but only just before his brother died. And clearly that hasn't worked, considering, you know, look at the manor house and look, look I guess Olgird was kind of doing all right. He was sort of going around with that group of people, clearly taking over like a manor house and stuff. But um, yeah, okay, right. Your brother sent me. Speaking of the guy himself, I guess. Your brother sent me. How is the old rogue? He, what I wouldn't give to ride by his side again. No chance of that happening. Could experience something else though. Something a corpse should find interesting. Interesting? Out with it. What do you have in mind? Supposed to show you the time of your life. Well, that's the, that's the wish. Uh, tell me about Olgird. How'd you die? Well, we want to know more about Olgird. I feel like, um, obviously, I guess from Geralt's point of view at the moment, all we really know is that Olgird's family fell on hard times. He seemed to have a... He hates the Toad Prince guy for some reason. We don't quite know yet. Um, and he he's immortal, and he clearly made a deal with Gaunter. I guess that's all we really know. We also know he's from a noble family, so let's learn some more about him from his brother, I guess. Listen... Feels like I should know Old Geard better. Tell me something about him. Oh, a fantastic chap. A true cavalier. You won't find another like him in all Redania. The best there is for a drink or a brawl. We were pups when we started riding out on raids. Wet behind the ears. Borderland villagers shat their trousers at the very sound of the word Old Geard. I was his second in command, leading a band of rogues who'd ride through fire for us. Sound like common bandits. Any difference? Us? Bandits? Watch your words. True, some of our swordsmen were mindless brawlers, but not Olgeard. Always curious, took an interest in all things. He devoured books, adored paintings, and loved the most beautiful maid in the world. Hmm. Well, we know more about him now, I guess. We know he loved somebody. We know he uh, clearly interested in art. I mean, we saw that from the marble statue, I guess. Um, at least he seemed to not be quite as into it at that point. Uh, yeah, okay, right. How'd you die? Yeah, I guess how'd Vladimir die? Don't mean to pry, but... Just a little curious how you died. Bah! No need to be shy. Folk love such stories. I'd love this one too, were it not to end with my death. So how'd it happen? On raids, it was our custom to storm the alderman's hut and then order the local clods to bring us kegs of spirit and provide willing wenches to squeeze and churn about. Then, sadly, an ambush. Outmanned five to one, we were overwhelmed. They killed me, crushed my skull like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and the stone floor. God. <laughs> I mean, I know clearly him and Olgeard were, at least with their, their band of friends and all that, were not the nicest of people, but that is a bad way to die. Getting a skull crushed like an eggshell between an upturned oak table and a stone floor. Oof. God. Sorry about that, Vladimir. Well, well you know, you, you, you're here now and you're talking about it. All right, I guess. Um, supposed to show you the time of your life. Yeah, this is the actual wish. Let's get on with it. Listen, Old Geard gave me a job. Odd as it may sound, I need to show you the time of your life. Is that so? Now that, sir, is a brother. I've been dead for years, yet he still looks after me, after my spirits. How much time do we have? Think one night should do the trick? Splendid. Wait just a moment while I hoist my saber and... What the blistering devils! You're a ghost. Can't grab things. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. 
But how am I to revel and rock and fuck? Can't lift a tankard to my lips. Can't wield a sabre. Can't squeeze a wench as we dance a jig. Guess you'll have to do without. Let's go. I will go nowhere. You're to see I enjoy myself, correct? Well, then think of a way to make it possible. How? Revive my flesh. No can do. Besides, body's probably decomposed. Then bloody come up with another way. I'll not go anywhere in this state. Um... Guess I could bring you someone to possess. Oh, God. Stop complaining, let's go. Geralt, look. Normally, I'd, I'd be up for this option right here. I'd be up for it, but we got to show this guy the time of his life. We need some good feedback at the end of this. We need to... We're like a, we're like a party planner right now. <laughs> this is what Geralt has been reduced to through these wishes. We have to deal with this ghost. He's a cool guy, obviously, but... Uh, you know what? I, gu I guess we could. We could pay someone. <laughs> we could we could trick Dandelion. I thought, right, okay, yeah, sure. Hmm. Guess I could bring someone here, and you... You could mm, borrow their body just for the night. You wish me to possess someone? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Say I agree. Whose body would I inhabit? Dunno. One of Olgird's men, maybe? Or a peasant who'd agree to do it for coin? Oh, no, no, no. I shan't crawl into the skin of some unwashed bandit or dung-eating swineherd. I've a better idea. Oh no, not gonna happen. Oh yes. Yes, it is. Geralt, wake up. Open your eyes. Where are the smelling salts? Death was a small price to pay to lie on a lap so lovely, and so near the wonders concealed a bit higher. Have you gone mad? Yes, as soon as I laid eyes on you, promise to stay and stroke my chin, and I shall spend the rest of eternity in a hound's body, trotting along by your well-turned calves. Geralt? What's happened to you? Geralt? I'm Vladimir. What? Blast. Fine, fine, give me a moment. Yeah, definitely don't like being possessed. You'd not have fainted had you not resisted so fiercely. Geralt, care to explain what's going on here? <laughs> I absolutely love when Vladimir possesses Geralt because it is just like it's like it's like if you were to get the opposite of what Geralt would say that that is what Vladimir says okay um it's all good's brother's fault sorry about that Shani uh, I feel like we gotta apologize despite it guys you know we gotta sorry about that Shani that wasn't me so who was it me shut up I didn't say anything Sorry, wasn't talking to you. Who to, then? Well, to him. To Vladimir. Geralt, there's no one else here. Seems your lovely maiden friend can neither see nor hear me. Hmm. There's potential in that. God. Okay. Um, okay. Leave her out of this. Let's set some ground rules. Um... Okay, I feel like obviously we we want him, we want him to leave her out of this. I feel like that's something we want, but also maybe maybe that can sort of be encompassed in the ground rules. As I said, we want him to have a good time, but you know, to have a good time, you got to have some sort of sort of structure to it. So I'm just gonna say, let's set some ground rules. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Need to set a few ground rules. And I needn't do a thing save have the time of my life, which is exactly what I aim to do. You're testing my patience. As you are mine. Can you please explain what's going on here? Oh, fiery. Temperament matches the drapes. Listen, 
I'm supposed to show Vladimir von Everek the time of his life. Turned out, he's a ghost. So, willing or not, I gotta lend him my body. Wait a minute. Are you saying you're possessed? Not at the moment. Just now he's standing next to me, coyly grinning at you. But off and on, he'll enter my body. So anything I say or do will actually be him, his mind, his intent. Uh, but what if I want to talk to you, not him? <sighs> well, she should approach me and ask me to jump out for a bit. Just come up and ask him to leave for a while. I see. Splendid! Right then, Sugar Plum. What say you we leave this dank crypt? There's a charming grove nearby where kisses taste sweeter than anywhere else in the world. I take it you're Vladimir now. Doesn't seem like I'll have trouble telling you apart from Geralt. <laughs> Geralt's a ball. <laughs> I absolutely look at him and at his hips. <laughs> oh, like high, high face, grinning a bit. Well, not right now, but he will. Be. Okay, right. Don't change the subject, darling. Geralt's a ball. I feel like he wouldn't even talk about Geralt. You know what I mean? I feel like he would literally just. Yeah, you know, maybe he would be the sort of guy to try and be like, "Oh no, Geralt sucks. I'm better." But. He would also be the sort of guy to just like completely ignore any reference to Geralt. You know, he just, it's all about him and, and all, all about her type thing. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with this, I think. Don't change the subject, my sweet. If a grove's not to your liking, we can cut straight to the chase and make for the nearest haystack. I'm afraid I have to turn you down, dear ghost. A shame. In that case, point me to the nearest brothel. I've got a better idea. Just before Geralt entered the crypt to summon you, I invited him to my friend's wedding. Good heavens. That's damn good luck. No better dancer in all Redania than Vladimir von Everek. My ginger muffin. With me, you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. Wonderful. I must stop by my home first and change. So, we'll meet at the temple. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Why not? I'm not fond of temples, see? When alive, I'd only set foot in one to loot it. And in death, I find I despise them all the more. Could we not meet after the ceremony, go straight to the feast? Uh, all right. Seems we've no other option. Splendid. <laughs> then I shall see you at the wedding manor. I must say, Witcher, a man could lose his head for a lass like that. And that comes from none other than Vladimir von Everick, famed for his taste in women. So tell me, honestly now, man to ghost, are you her paramour? For if so, you have my word, I shall keep my distance. But if not, then... <laughs> The haylofts we shall devastate together. Hmm. Um. Uh, cared for Shani deeply once, only ever been friends. Okay, if you go by what I've done in The Witcher, we have only ever been friends, really, even in The Witcher 1. But even if you go by the books, I guess technically they did sleep together, but it was never really like a deep, a deep thing. I wouldn't say he cared for her deeply at that point, really. Um, I feel like I want to go only ever being friends, but I also am thinking about the fact that if I say, you know, yeah, yeah, me and Shani, we're so, we, we're, the, we're like, you know, we're lovers and all that, he maybe won't be inappropriate towards her, uh, but also I don't want to lie, you know. Yeah, I feel like only ever been friends, really, you know, yeah, uh, we, we were more than friends for a brief period, but, um, you know, still kind of friends, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll go with that. I just want to quickly say, guys, that I think the the voice acting in this quest particularly is just, I, I think it is so good. I think it is so good. And I know a lot of people have, like, things to say about the English uh, uh, dub and voices and all the rest, but I, I think it is amazing. I honestly, like, I love the fact that you have, obviously, um, default Geralt voice, which is very monotone, and, like, it's, it's Geralt, and then you have Vladimir Geralt, and it's the same kind of monotone voice, but elevated and it has that sort of um like that sort of uh vladimir flair to it and i i really i love that i can sort of listen to it and understand like 
It's it's like someone is using Geralt's voice who is not Geralt. And I think the fact someone can do that with voice acting is, is just, like, it's really impressive. Like, that'd be an awesome thing to do, wouldn't it? They must have to record so many lines for this. Now I think about how big this game is. Yeah, so we, um, we've only ever been friends. That is true. We're just friends. Always have been. Never professed your love. No heartfelt admissions. Confessions. Never anything between us. You mean to say you never gripped those gorgeous... Oh. Never cherished those beautiful... Nay, stunning. So, soft in the head or the loins? Excuse me? Ah, a pederast. Fine, if it's not your flavor, you needn't taste. All the better for me. I'll see she's properly satisfied. So, Witcher, time for the wedding? Let's go. Onward. I'll be right behind you. Down a comely maid. Um, there was actually one thing I wondered, guys. Um, I'll just- I'll just let this dialogue play first. Grave robber. Tried to crawl in through the well. Broke his neck. Meaning the scabby runt wished to rob our family crypt. Pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't know anyone that does that. No, I- I would never do that to you. Or Von Everix, I would never do that, okay? Um, basically, guys, I just wanted to- <laughs> I wanted to quickly uh, have a look at this. Where is it? Oh, I need to go back to that village as well. That's another thing I need to do before I forget. Um, I need to... Where is it? It's this thing here. So there is a mod I can get that fixes basically a bug in the game. It's pretty much a bug. Um, that gives me back the Tala dialogue, because you can actually go and give this to Tala. And I think that'd be something I'd actually quite like to do. So maybe I'll get that mod and um, do that for us. I mean, I'm sort of unsure about doing stuff like that, because I feel like if it's not in the game and they didn't fix it ultimately, maybe I shouldn't mess with it. But it'd be nice to see that dialogue, because it's supposed to be part of the game type thing. So I'd like to hear what you think about that too. Um, we're, uh, we're doing this awesome mission now, though, with Vladimir, uh, an amazing character, and we've got this... Uh, right, guys, when we get to this party coming up, right, I want you guys to keep an eye out. I'm not going to say for what, but for a certain individual, because they do pop up in many scenes, and I think I know all the scenes, so I'm just going to... I'm going to be looking myself while, I, while I'm playing this. Okay, right, let's get some more of the stuff. Okay, I don't want to miss anything here. Obviously, we're, we've are we got Vladimir watching us grave rob now, but, you know, what's he going to do? He's a ghost, all right? Ooh, some good stuff. Good stuff. Plenty of little chests hidden back here. Some skeletons. Oh! I detest spiders. Oh! The okay. Shut the tight. Any more? Yes? Yeah, I hear some. Oh, God. Hang on. Oh, God. There's, like, loads more. Hang on. I don't want to get webbed. Oh, triple burning. Guys, I don't care what anyone says. The Igni strat is the best. I will not hear anything else. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to witch her, um, like, that's our new code, but I'm going to witch her trailer this guy right now. You ready? Who needs oils? Am I right, guys? When you got the Igni Quen. <laughs> I will switch it up, I promised. I said I'd do it more in Tucson. I'll try and do it more in Hearts of Stone, too. I'll have a proper look at everything. But, you know, <laughs> I feel like there's more room to do it in Tucson, too, with the uh, the mutations and things. So, oh, God. <laughs> it's so... Do you think it's overpowered? Uh, I don't. Look, having an having a thing that saves me from taking a hit and maybe insta-kill is, is not overpowered. I don't care what anyone says. Listen. Alright, we're gonna go rob the rest of his crypt. Hopefully, um, Vladimir doesn't care about this. I'm sure he'll be fine with it, you know? He seems like a chill guy. He, he, they don't need it, they're dead. Am, am I right? Why do you pour through my ancestors' bones? On your way, leave the dead to rest in peace. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm just take some more of this, you know? Look, as I said, go. <laughs> He's actually calling attention to us. Are you a witcher or a scavenger? 
hands off the family heirlooms. Shut up. I do what I want. Ah, oh, Geralt, you tell him. <laughs> That's what I want to say, guys. Look, listen. <laughs> I can't believe they're talking about it. We do what we want. <laughs> we take we take all the heirlooms. I don't know why they have a fairy trousers. <laughs> We're literally taking rings off like their dead fingers and stuff. Oh. oh, an emerald we can give. Maybe we can bring. I, I think you wanted jade, but you know it's green. It's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a expensive green thing. Maybe you'd like that. God, I love how they. Oh God, look for a lot of this beers. whole witch's life. What's it like? Don't want to know. If indeed I didn't, I'd not have asked. Go on, tell me. You wouldn't like it. Yeah, I think Vladimir got the picture there. Geralt's like, look, you, you don't, you, you, you wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it, Vladimir. I don't think Vladimir would like it. I don't think he'd be happy doing the contracts, you know? Especially like the frying pan one and other classics. Those signs. I'd like to try one. What signs? Your witcher signs. Never done it. Could be interesting. Rather not waste any time. Till the stroke of midnight, what I would rather is what matters. I feel like he knows that I have to do this. Like he's, he, I, I like how he's not even wondering at all about like, why we're so willing to do this for all good. Right, okay, look, I'm do, I'll do the signs for him, all right? So we got Axie. I love how he does the little signs with his fingers. How cool is that? Oh, right, look, hang on. It's difficult to show you, but he does do the signs. Igni. Bit of Quen. Oh, we did Axie. Bit of Ard. And a bit of Irden. See? Is that good? Uh, have, I, have I danced enough for you? Alright, okay. I'm gonna walk there, guys, because I think we get some cool dialogue and I don't want to accidentally run past it with Roach. Um, I'll tell you what. Should I, should I quickly deal with the... Well, we'll set it to like day. We'll, we'll we'll imagine we've been out all night. You know, Shani has she left in the morning. We were we were at the tomb for a while. We were pretty. It was pretty much uh, the morning anyway. Maybe we should get to the party by lunch. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Look, guys, I like to plan these things. It's very important to me that we we have a completely um, perfect game. You know what? I'm just gonna heal there. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait another hour and it'll be fine. Perfect. Okay, full health. Everything's cool. So I'm going to walk there just because I, I do, as I said, I think we get some dialogue with Vladimir and I don't want to miss any of that because it's just, it's awesome. I love it. There's the old mill. Um, I'd recommend not buying that one. Hopefully you get that reference. <laughs> if not, oh well. Okay. I remember that mill. Whenever Olgird and I got up to mischief, we'd hide out in there. Once, we snuck off with some moonshine. Old cocksucker Yaramir quarters. <laughs> ah, those were the days. See, Olgir did used to be a cool, fun-loving youngster, and um, you know what happened? <laughs> well, we're gonna find out. Life, that's right. Oh, it, I think this lighting mod looks quite cool. I, I like it. It's, it's basically the same. It's just a little bit lighter, and I think that maybe is better in the caves. I don't know. Either way, I don't mind. It looks fine to me. Any more dialogue, Vladimir? Got anything else to add? Oh, we're almost there, guys. We're almost at the party. I guess I could run. I love all the little NPCs and stuff. Even the even the annoying children. Okay, we're almost there. No sign of her yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. Whoa, whoa, hold. Mean to go in wearing that. What else?
Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? <laughs> uh, not about to steal. Good idea. Uh, look, I feel like Geralt would really, really rather not wear the robe at any opportunity. I feel like in the other instances where I've worn it, it's been when, like, Yennefer and Triss have asked, and we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll wear the robe. I feel like in this case, we're gonna have to be like, look, we're not about to steal. Obviously, guys, we literally just robbed a tomb, and we've, we stole this horse with Ciri, we, we, we've, we've stolen a lot of stuff, right? But I'm going to tell Vladimir we're not about to steal. Okay, listen, Vladimir. We're, 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 we're a good witcher. We're not doing that today. Oh, no. We're not going to steal. Come now. We're merely borrowing. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. Perfect fit. It feels tailor-made. Now, for shoes. One must wear shoes to a wedding. Hmm. And we must be neat. May they draw and quarter me if I've ever seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw and quarter, alas. Doe eyes, a swan's soft supple neck, and a waist so slim you could grip it one-handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. We must get to know each other better. You see, Geralt can't hold a candle to me. Um, <laughs> I just, I love any moment Vladimir is in Geralt's body and talking. <laughs> it's just some of the, it's just the best. Um, as I said, guys, I'm going to go for the same logic. We're just not going to even mention Geralt. It's all about Vladimir and Shani for him. <laughs> Be assured, you'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. Uh, how intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. May I please speak to Geralt for a moment? Whatever for. This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. Oh. <laughs> for example? <laughs> uh. What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. You're as dense as year-old hardtack. Luckily, you've got me. Oh, Geralt. <laughs> he just doesn't... He's just like, oh... He just wants to, you know, he wants to help people and be a witcher and do his witchery things. He wants to... He wants to just, just, you know, plod along in life, and he ends up getting involved with sorceresses and, you know, dragons and and Gauntro Dim, and he, and he's just getting like criticised. And he's just like, I don't understand. What do I do? How do I be? How do I be social? <laughs> oh yeah, we got Vladimir, the ultimate wingman, so it'll be fine. Let's go to the wedding. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this will be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You get till midnight and not a second longer. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight. 
Let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. Then there's the capping. Then you go back where you came from. So be it. This way, my strawberry. Ah, hello world, I'm back. I'll be damned, a proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty of worthy drinking companions, and a swarm of fair maids. But none compared to you, my dear Rhubarb. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the mutt must be big as a horse. Uh, thanks for your concern, but the doghouse is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. Oh, what a lovely Rowan. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgird and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my Rowan Petal, I'd do anything. Ah, oh, here Come. we go. <laughs> Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. Oh, I gotta make a save. I want to come back to this. <laughs> oh, look at him. Vladimir. <laughs> With the hands on the hips, shaking his... Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, we got the forced haircut as well. This is what I was talking about, guys. Who needs a haircut when the game does it? Oh. Say hello. We'd be nice now. Be nice now. Show. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Thank you, from the bottom of our hearts. Now go, enjoy the feast. Our turn. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt, a witcher. Heartfelt thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. <laughs> oh, I love that we get to pick dialogue options as well, uh, Vladimir. <laughs> I, oh, guys. I love this mission so much. I'm probably cutting it, but, like, every time he opens his mouth, I, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of doing what I'm doing now. <laughs> I just sort of go, oh god. I love it. I love this. Okay, right. Why'd you choose this chap? Oh, I should do it in his voice. Why'd you choose this? I don't know. I can't. I'll do it. I'll do it in a different way. Why did you choose this chap? Aren't you an extraordinary beauty, my dear? Why? Thank you. You had your pick of gents, I'm sure. Where is this going? I'm attempting to discern why she chose you, Jonas. Mean you don't approve of my wife's choice? I've no skin in this game. I ask out of pure curiosity. Well, rein it in, or I shall have to explain my wife's choice to you, hands on. Out of pure pleasure. Why so testy, friend? Have I insulted you? Merely told your wife she was a beautiful woman, yet here I'm threatened instead of getting thanks. Have some manners. Geralt, that's enough. She simply fell in love, that's that. Jonas, I'm sure my friend meant no offense. 
<laughs> well, that went well. I, I feel like we should ask another question. <laughs> oh, God. God, these questions. <laughs> you get a hefty dowry with your bride? Aldona seems a curious choice for a bride. Did she come with a hefty dowry? I assure you, Witcher, my choice had naught to do with coin. Jonas' family is far better off than mine. They have a textile manufacturer. It took a lot of convincing to get Mother to agree to our, as some would have it, mess alliance. Tough. You never told me. Whatever happened to fortune is of no import to me and my family. It isn't. Jonas told me the same. That your background doesn't bother him. Never does. Not at love's first blossoming, but give it time. Five years and you'll find few things that don't bother you. I'm beginning to find what you say bothersome. I don't know where you're from, but in these parts it is rude to insult newlyweds at a wedding. Insult? I'm merely warning you. Know a thing or two about life, you see. <sighs> Geralt and his jests. He has a strange sense of humor. Very strange, I'd say. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Uh, okay. You know what? This is the safest question out of all of them. Uh, we left it for last. How do you know Shani? Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shani know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you as your brother-in-law. <laughs> Will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. <laughs> uh, look, look, guys. I don't know why I'm so like. I <laughs> just, just. I've, you, you see, you see, Jonas. I've come to love your wife like a sister. <laughs> Right, let the let this let the revels begin. It's already been reveling. We've reveled a lot so far, but you know we got to revel some more. We've chewed the fat enough. Times are wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn certain. And perhaps you will catch one of their... It'd be nice, certainly, but I shan't be terribly bothered if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. <laughs> oh, let, let, let me make a save. I want to do all the wedding activities. Right, there's got to be a Gwent game around here somewhere. Uh... Okay. Ah, oh, that looks like a Gwent game to me. Oh, they're wearing ears. Look, 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 look. Munchkin's playing cards. In the mood to lighten Geralt's purse? Geralt won't mind. He's wild about cards. Munchkins? Okay. Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, midget. Nor need for insults. Oh, God. You know what? I feel like at this point, I, if, <laughs> just as it is blood of me, just be like, apologies, I didn't mean to be offensive. Oh, I never meant, I don't think he'd mean to be offensive, you know, I, I don't know, right. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. <laughs> I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. 
Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Oh, I, I kind of want to lose now. Oh, but I can't lose on purpose. But I'm Vladimir playing. I'm not Geralt. But I want to wear the ears, guys. Damn. I don't know what to do here. Look, guys. I'm just sat here thinking about it, and I think I'm going to have to lose this game of Gwent. You know, I... I... I got to. I just... I got to, guys. Look. It has to be done. There's no way I can't go around this party wearing these giant donkey's ears. Like, like what... Do you guys want me to not wear the donkey's ears? Like, is that what you're trying to... Trying to say, you know? I... Guys, I... The way I see it, it's a non-canon game because technically it's not me playing as Geralt. It's it's me playing as Vladimir. Look, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to lose this one because I've got to wear these donkey's ears. I, I I have to, you know. It's a thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go into this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna you know what? I'll even play terribly on purpose. Like I'll, I'll do literally I'll do terrible plays. Oh, he spied me, guys. I guess I better, I better, I better skip. He beat me on that round. You know, I'll give him that. I'll give him that. He, he's, he's demolishing me. I can't do anything about it. It's over. God, he is, he, he is, this is what it's like playing against me. <laughs> Just being a dick. Ugh. Um, you know, guys, um, I, I hate losing games of Gwent on purpose, but I don't think I get a card from this. Um, and on top of that, I really want to wear the donkey's ears. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip now. God damn it. God Oh, I, I don't, I, I hate it. I hate that. Oh, don't even show me that screen. You lose, Witcher. Hand over the wager. Everything. Um, perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin. What do we do now? Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win. Give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say. He talking to himself. Roaring drunk already, that's it. We can't fleece a drunk. Have him done the cup and we'll call it even. Just a minute. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. Hear that? Agreed. 5% is yours, and I shall wear the cap. Never fear. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everex a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everex. Rogue's long dead by my reckoning. Exactly. <laughs> Those ears. You look, uh, interesting. Time to drink! We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hear that, Shani? My betrothed. Know what that means? No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Ah, oh, the merriment. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. Oh, we have the ears on. I think you look charming. Quite the lark, this Gwent. Onward to the next diversion. Oh, let me pause it for a second. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if I if I lose that Gwent game. If it is like really important that I need something from it, I'm sure I can work something out later down the line. But honestly, guys, I would rather wear the the amazing donkey ears in this. This. <laughs> look at the look at the. Ears. 
me get a save. Oh, I need a save here. <laughs> okay. Right, more activities. Okay, Shani, we got to do more activities. Come with me. What, what did he call her? His, his, was it Ginger Muffin? Was that the name? Or, or um, Rhubarb? I, I don't want to... Look, it's Vladimir. It's not me. Come, Shani. We'll take part in the, the rest of the activities. This is such a cool little party. I like it. Okay. Um, you... Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. Tis a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. Well, poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip-in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Look! Mutations don't just turn them barren as a mule, they give them an ass's ears to boot. <laughs> Must have some other horse part hidden in his trousers. Oh, this is like a good thing. Okay, right, um, what will I get if I return the feather? <laughs> Sorry. The ears on Geralt, which is that stern look, is just a amazing. I love how Vladimir doesn't care either. <laughs> okay. And once I retrieve it? Well, your maid will be pleased as punch, or it means you're a gallant bow and awful handy. Is that all? No prize? Not even a kiss? That depends on the missing question. If she wants to give you a kiss, she will. But she ain't obliged. I'd like to join in this fun. Yeah, let's... let's do it. The ears... No, sorry, right. Yeah. Oh, my. Oh, there's more to come. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. Well, <laughs> observe, Shani. My eyes are glued. Seems to think the slipping will be easy, don't he? He talks a big talk. <laughs> Let's see how big his stroke is. That one's a witcher. Uh, so what? Witches famed for shoe fishing skills or something? Oh God. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's, let's um. Let's get the slipper, guys. <laughs> Oh, this would be really cold. Okay, there's a slipper here. Right, I want to get everyone's shoes. I want to. I want to absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that hers? I think that might be hers. I want to get all of them. I want to get all the slippers, guys. I don't want to miss a single slipper. Um, there's another one there. God, there's a. There's quite a few down here. Oh, I'm running out of. Turn, Geralt, turn! Sorry, I mean, I guess Vladimir, technically. Oh, God. Hang on. There's just one, like, little spot I haven't looked and I don't want to drown. I, th I think I probably have it. Oh, God, i got to go back up. Hang on. Ugh. Okay, right, right. Regain breath. Right, back we go. I want to get every shoe. I don't want to miss any. I feel like I kind of... Alright, I'm just going to have to... I feel... I think you can only see underwater if you're almost right next to it. So I... I don't want to miss any accidentally. I did also kind of skirt around the edge of it. I think I might have found her shoe already. Honestly, I'm not I'm not too sure. But I, I think I have, I want to I wanna say. Um, right, we'll see. 
I don't see I don't see any other shoes. So I'm gonna assume I might have already found it. I think I found every shoe. I think I found them all. Okay. Damn mucky that pond sank in up to my armpits. I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes over tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over to don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh, well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm-hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. Uh, thank you. Ah, my kind of tune. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> faster, faster, <laughs> till we expire. <laughs> Treat for our special guests, the Witcher Geralt and his enchanting partner Shani. Musicians, something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani, it's time you discovered my romantic side. My dancing skills are merely a foretaste. You're quite skilled yourself. I'm the lord of the dance. Oh, I feel like he'd say that, wouldn't he? Uh, uh, maybe you'd say this. A chair could dance a jig with you as its partner. Oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... I'll call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many. And not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all. Though none to match your charms. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thanks his lovely partner? I'm um, not sure I do. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart. 
We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you shall keep your hands to yourself. Understood? If I'm to play, I will play. I couldn't resist. Was it good for you? Uh, uh. Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just next time, don't lunge at me like that. I've had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Uh, could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Wouldn't do it. Not my thing. I wouldn't force myself on you. I'd probably have done exactly... <laughs> oh, yeah, Geralt, really? <laughs> Is that like a joke? Is that a joke answer? I, I don't want to say it and be like serious, you know? Wouldn't do it. Not my thing. I feel like that's maybe the true one. That's also true. That's like a joke answer. You know what? Maybe Geralt took the advice there and he wants to be a bit more fun-loving, you know? A bit, a bit playful, a bit... Yeah, we're in the same thing. <laughs> of course. Probably I'd have done what he did. Still like to. Then why don't you? Well, answer me. Thing is, normal folk don't act like Vladimir von Everick. Because they are churls. <laughs> don't be too hard on him. All in all, he's actually rather fun. Ha! See that? I'm fun. And you've got a pike so far up your ass, you can't wear hats. Happen to see the man who announced our, your song? Yes, he acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I'm surprised. Who is he? Gontaro Dim, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped in on a whim. Promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah! I was to make merry. Carouse! Yet here I've stood the last five minutes, listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Ah, better. Come, Shani. The night beckons us not to jabber it away. Okay. So, we have a few more, uh... Young. Come, let's do something wild. So... Sorry, right, save quickly. So, right, we've got a few more activities to do, and then we'll go and talk to Gaunter. I am absolutely loving this mission. I'm getting a few minor little, like, spikes of lag, but I think it's because of how many NPCs are around. The music is also really, really loud. Um, I guess we'll talk to these wedding guests. Okay. If I may, Shani, I'd show you how I cut a jig. Nimble as a leopard. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. Eh, uh, we're dancing. <laughs> hey, stop laughing at me. Vladimir, you're doing God's work. <laughs> oh, with the, the donkey <laughs> oh, oh, look at that guy. He's doing the Russian thing. Oh. Oh, and Shani's dancing. See, I think I handled it pretty well. It wasn't necessarily a joke answer, I think. I, I thought I meant the Geralt one is like, oh, I, d I do the same thing as a joke, but it doesn't really matter. You know, yeah, we do the same thing, Shani. We would have done the awesome dancing, and we would, maybe not the kiss, because, you know, Yennefer and stuff, she can't know about that. You know, it was Vladimir, all right? Listen. You, got, you can tell the difference between us by the donkey ears, you know? Right, okay. What charm, what grace. Thanks. Okay, next person. Uh, should I be drinking? Should I drink later? 
I guess we could drink. Let's let's your let's drink. Health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long but never tangle round your ankles. To the young oh lovers. no. May their loins never May they sail oh, I knew this was a bad idea. And reap gobs or coin. Oh, I could probably drink more, you know. Oh god. <laughs> oh, this is not okay, it's fine. I'm not gonna drink any more, guys. We don't wanna overdo it. I'll take part in all the ones outside, then go back in and do that one, I think. I don't, I don't wanna kickstart the whole gaunt. Oh god, thank god, that music was so loud. Shani, come here. You must come with us. What a wonderful wedding. It's clearly the only way to Paris for a spouse. Come with me. Is she coming? Right, I'll go to this next activity. That's certain. I saw him myself. So if he arrived, why is he not here now? The bloody dog chased him away. Demon. None other. Hideous multi. Oh brother, means we're missing a fire eater and a dog. A missing hound, it seems. Perhaps we can be of service. My first witch of the investigation of goose pimples. <laughs> okay. Right. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. You know, woo scope, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers, but we'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. The man's got ass he is. He's your first seat to help himself. Oh, such he is might be high fashion in his part. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the... I'm so glad I got that first. Right, tell me everything you know. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the Fire Eater arrived around noon. It is fill of food, not fire. They went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. That horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. I shall find him. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Oh, mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is... We have our ways. The flame gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you. And hope for the best. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Ah, <sighs> fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe in you. Tally ho, adventure awaits. Okay, right, let's find this dog. Coin, all for naught. 
Uh, hello. Okay, so. The hound tore its chain off the wall. Underfed, it seems. Or else the ash liquor really boiled the mutt's blood. <laughs> okay. A bone nod so clean, I've only ever seen two like this. One in an antel, the other when I caught a hen after not eating for a week. Oh, God. Okay, right. Its bowl is chipped. Tried to devour its bowl along with its supper. Daft mutt. Okay, maybe Vladimir does have the whole Witcher thing, you know? He, he did notice this as soon as he came in. A dog made these tracks true, but a small one. And judging by its house, Demon is a hulk. But beggars can't choose their tracks. So I shall follow these. Good idea. Okay, we're just gonna keep... Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pair. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Shan't be long now. Don't know where she was, but somewhere? I don't know. Right, okay. Following some dog's oh, trail? Okay, yeah, we got it, Shannon. Not exactly <laughs> how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Okay. Right. Let's find this dog and this fire eater. Oh. A broken branch, as if one too heavy sought to scamper up this tree. Seems our fire eater swallows a great deal more than fire. Or perhaps someone was merely gathering kindling. Ah, there is joy in this ferreting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll keep look, look, guys, I'm not giving him any advice, all right? Ooh. A spark spitter's cap, if ever I've seen one. As jesterly as they come. Chap must have lost it running from demon. Two conclusions, then. Our magician is fat and a coward. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll keep we'll keep trying to find him. Ah. We're gonna be Vladimir, so we haven't noticed him yet. <laughs> Um, there is like, these are the dog's paws, I guess. Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Guess so. You, get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? Um, I'll calm it. We'll, we chase off the dog. Yeah, I'll calm it. Sit. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Roll over. Leave it alone. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. But I was fleeing a hound. Hound! 
boar. It, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Those are excellent ears. Might try a pair like that. Just not sure they'd fit under my cap. Your hat here. Yeah, we did find the hat. <laughs> See, everyone loves the ears, guys. Your cap, sir. Lost it running from that pup like a gutless coward. Oh, my dearest cap. Always brought me good luck it has. I'll wear it for every performance. I feel like Vladimir and this guy get, <laughs> get, get along quite well. Are you always so easily scared? You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you said. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Now what have become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> you can't possibly go to the wedding like that. You can forget about performing in your state. And just what state would that be? Look at yourself, man. You're a tramp. You can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Let's go. You can sober up on the way. Fire eating, what's the trick? Yep, yeah, <laughs> we'll talk more. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. Out with it. I got, I got this special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, but just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my meat, and now insults! I'm done here. Goodbye! Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Listen, I'll pay you. Not going anywhere. Uh... Yeah. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. No need. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Oh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. Keep calm. Stay close. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna make a yeah. Just, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't want this guy to. Okay, it's fine. Look, we're fine, guys. I could have paid him, but I avoided having to fork over any sort of money there. Oh, there's a bear. ball. Bear. That. As much as cocks a tent pole. Hi, you blind fool. Save me. Oh, he fights. He does fight a bit differently. Oh. Come on. Oh, you see how my health bar has the um the the sort of uh, von Everick's uh, ball symbol on it. That's quite cool. I suppose I guess the witch medallion. That's really cool. Okay. We have at last. Tell me, are bears often boar shaped in your experience? I've got weak eyes, see. Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed, you are not, Master. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. 
Listen here, Master Hattonsborough. Stay close, and no harm will come to you. I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! We must watch the trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. We did it, guys! Amazing! It is now raining. Uh, I I don't think I can do anything about that. Contract done. Fire eater found. His ass saved. If I could live again, I'd be a witcher for damn certain. <laughs> sure. Okay, guys, oh, we are bad, back. Yeah. I just I literally I was gonna use console commands, but I decided not to, and I waited until the rain stopped. I've been waiting for about five minutes, but it, it stopped now. It's fine. So we can continue with the the activities. Oh, I didn't mind waiting. I was literally just sat here like this, and I was just, I was just looking at his ears. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> look at him. Okay, right. Um, next activity. Okay, we got more activities to do. Um, drink with us. Don't make us big. We're toasting the newlyweds. This seems right up um, Vladimir Street. What? Yes, Witcher. How do I how do I do this? Drink with us. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. Thank you. I, I appreciate the, the, the happy wishes. Okay. So, white wolf you? To the white ass. <laughs> Where is Shani? Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. That's enough. Get going. You're drunk and randy. Nothing good's ever come of that mix. I wonder if she was um, like an old an old woman or something. Uh, like just because she's hobbling. Um, okay. Right. Well, Vladimir, we tried. Oh, the fire dudes. He's going at it. Oh, this is such a cool party. I oh, the pig thing. Let's go do the pig thing. Aha, finally, a manly man's sport. What sport is this? Blustering about after pigs, are you? Lads are racing to be crowned king of the swineherds. And win the prize that comes with it for their wench. Um, lady, me. And the rules? One must be a swineherd's son to enter, I suppose? Nay, any man can try his luck. All you need is to herd the piggies dabbed in yellow into the pen. Okay, yeah, the prizes, tell me more. King of the swineherds, eh? And what's this king get exactly? King's ransom, I would hope. No coin. Honors the prize. King gets a crown of laurels he pins to his saddle, rides about with pride that he's king of the swineherds. You mentioned some trifles for the lasses. Are they worthwhile at least? For certain. 
Lovely, every last one. Pretty as a painting. Win and see for yourself. Okay, um, let's chase some pigs. Sounds like damned foolish nonsense. But why not give it a try? We'd be honored. A witcher with ass ears chasing swine. <laughs> Better than a goddamn circus. What's that you say, peasant? Me? Uh, nothing. Good. Keep it that way. Get that cripple out of there! <laughs> Could chase his own wench into a bed, let alone a pig into a pen. Let the witcher give it a run. Okay, chase drive pigs into no pen. We'll do. Here. It's a moment worth immortalizing for posterity. Watch my movement, Shani. I'm spry as a cat and sly as a fox. I'll show these imbeciles how one chases a porker. See, we got this. Don't worry, guys. Look, we're gonna direct him into the. Okay, this, 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 this Come is. Come on, piggy. Got a nice and cozy pen for you. Okay, guys. I'm thinking I can use magic. However, I'm not gonna do it. As I feel like it's sort of not in the, the, the mood of things. Okay, we got one. We got one. You see that, Shani? One pig pen. Oh, guys, we gotta impress Shani. We gotta do it. We gotta get the pigs in the pens. Go on, you get over there. Oh, we got this, guys. We got the. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not back this way, pig. Get back over there. Look, you get back over there, alright? Look, I'm, I'm, I'm stressing you. I'm stressing you. There we go. We did it. No trickery needed. Feel foolish, peasants. Learned a lesson from your better. Are the pigs penned? Indeed they are. Master Witcher, we ain't seen such pig chasing skill in a long time. Your family had an ample pen, didn't they? Go on, admit it. My family had many pens. But that in no way means I had any practice chasing pigs. However it were, the crown's going to a good man. And the king's chosen maid deserves a fitting favor. Here. Yeah. Just don't go hiding it in some pouch. Brandish it on your horse so that all folk may see. What do you say to that, Shani? Ever witness such agility? <laughs> You're clearly a natural at chasing pigs through muck. You were a joy to watch. How does my heart's captor like the uh, prize? I won for her. The rag stuffed piggy? <laughs> it's lovely, truly. I've always dreamed of owning one. Hmm. Tell me, Shani, what's the key with you? What do you mean? I'm on the prowl, that's clear. I woo and woo, yet you do not succumb. So I can't help but wonder. What am I doing wrong? Mm, perhaps you're just not my type. Considered that? Rubbish. I'm every lass's type. Is that so? Prove it. With pleasure. Show me a lass, and I'll have her eating out of my hand in the blink of an eye. Uh, that one, with the garland. Splendid choice. Now observe as Vladimir von Everegg does his thing. Now, who have we here? Do I know you? That's the crux of it. We've not met. I've had to endure half a lifetime without you. An entire lifetime, more like. A moment, my dear. Do not sabotage me, Shani. That would not be fair. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll stay out of your way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we gotta do this. Um, my dear, my dear girl, you are a miracle. Did it hurt when you fell from the heavens? Oh, that's the classic line, isn't it? Um, oh, I've, you know what? I'm going with this. I'm. I feel like this. This is. This is the line, guys. This is the line. Did it hurt terribly, my sweet? What? When you fell from the heavens. <laughs> Why, sir? <laughs> Shh, my dear. 
No more words. I shall make a true lady of you. Arm in arm, we'll grace the finest salons. Salons? But really? Actual salons? In Novigrad? And how... <laughs> in Novigrad? Oxenfurt? Why, in Kovir as well? Wherever you wish. Let's make haste to the barn. There, everything will be made clear. Leslie, step away from the man. Who the devils are you? We're the Mrs. Brothers, and we swore to our down his dying day we'd keep those of your ilk far from her. Uh, you'll do nothing of the sort, bumpkin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, uh, forgive me, I didn't know. Uh, I feel like Vladimir would instantly be like, <laughs> go away. But also, Sh Shani's there. Maybe he would be a bit more like, oh, I, oh, forgive me, I didn't know. You know, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Look, we're... Oh, God, do I beat them up or not? Uh... You know, guys, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and be cool with this. I feel like Vladimir would be like, oh, look, because ultimately, guys, you've got to consider the whole reason he's doing all of this is to get close to Shani, right? And he doesn't want to start fighting the wedding guests, uh, you know, in, in front of her. I don't think that's something she'd really like at all. So if we basically just, like, try and be chill, I feel like this is, Vladimir is the master of this, you know? He, this is what I think, this is what I think he'd do, yeah. Easy, lads. No harm done. An innocent conversation with an innocent miss. The kind weddings are for. We all heard your innocent talk. Wanted to draw her to the barn. What were you gonna do there? Talk some more? Naturally, we would speak. But first, we would dance. Now tell me, what sort of fool wouldn't want to dance with a beauty like her? Find another beauty, or I'll dance with you myself. Just after I grab me a fence post. Geralt, you saw it. I tried to resolve this peacefully, but they wish to fight. Suits me just fine. Sounds like wonderful fun. Fence boards right over there for the taking. Fear eat your stones. That's the last plowing straw. No one accuses Vladimir von Everick of cowardice. Calm down, boys. Don't want to fight you. Too damn bad, because we're going to tan your mutant freak hide. That does it! Show us what you got. Hot damn, boy. You needn't ask me twice. Oh, guys, I did try. I really did try. Um... Fence boards. The perfect weapon for sweaty-ass swine herds. Perfect fit for your gob, you plowing gentle fuck. Never in my life have I reveled so fiercely. Step up. Who else wants a shave? God, oh. Crit and cream to me. Embarrassing to take a licking from a boar. And with a maiden watching. Oh god, guys. I'm actually... I took a few hits there. Hang on. Okay, I feel bad about this, but I did try and resolve it peacefully, guys. Listen. Enough peasant spawn. Thought yourself a match for a Von Ever. I mean, a witcher. Away with you. Be gone. I've tired of looking at your slack jawed yaps. Where to, my love? I was to turn you into a lady. Don't. You must explain I was not at fault. They lunged at me. Well, go on, chase her. In your dreams. There it is. You fucked up. She's gone. Is that how you woo the ladies? You always that charming in life? It worked. More often than not. Listen, tongue and fists on a leash from now on. Have your fun, but don't beat the wedding guests. With my hands. Fine. I shall try. Uh-oh. Shani approaches. Unlikely to be happy, eh? You made this mess, you do the explaining. Oh, all right. 
<laughs> Your methods... quite unusual. To woo a woman by beating up her brothers. Creative. Wonder what else you have up your sleeve. <laughs> See, I went the peaceful option, and I think Shani is intelligent enough to sort of recognize that and be like, yeah, he did actually not want to fight. He, you know, even when, you know, uh, Vladimir came out, he was like, look, I don't want to fight. And they were like, oh, tough. I can demonstrate if you'd like. You know what, I feel like Vladimir would work out at this point that that is not going to work with Shani. He's got to be like intelligent and be like, ah, oh, you know, all went according to plan. You know, it was all good. I'm out of practice. I can dem I'm going to say all went according to plan. That's what I'm going to go with. Eliminating potential obstacles, see? All part of my plan. Usually I take a few passing blows in the doing, and the young miss in question then swoons with pity, tends to my wounds. So, what went wrong? It's this damned malformed body. All sinews. And this mug? Were I to wear my own, oh, it would be another story altogether. The maidens always fell from my melancholy eyes and the swagger in my scars. But I'll gladly try again. Just indicate a lass and... You've proven everything amply. Let's just have fun, all right? After all, you haven't much time left. <sighs> Fine. I suppose you're right. Come then. I think Sean is at a really good time, you know, guys. I think we've done well. So good to shake the kinks from one's bones. <laughs> we must find more, more fun. Come on, Shani, let's go find some more fun. Hello. Found yourself a perch from which to survey passing bows. What do you mean? My back aches from pounding the churn, so I'm having a... And they said fire burns hotter in an old stove. If I was your age, you'd be singing a different tune. Have you squealing like a kitty cat? Well, that was fun. Um, on to the next revels. We'll revel some more, Shani. Come. I love that I'm wearing the donkey ears, guys. That was the fire dude again. <laughs> Alright, okay. Take part in the wedding's activities until midnight. So, I think there is... Did you just say something about Gwent? I would love to play Gwent. Do you want a Gwent? No, okay. Almost. Okay, guys, I thought they wanted to Gwent. I had to, I had to go check that out. Okay. Right, last activity, I think. Can we dance some more? Shawnee? Oh, she, I don't know where she is. We gotta go see Gaunter as well. Where's the other, um... Ah, so there's some older Flaming Rose stuff. I mean, we already knew that, but it's cool to hear them chat about it. So that's Gaunter. I kind of want to take part in whatever other activity there are. There are, oh, there is. I guess we could just talk to Gaunter now. Is there... Where are the other activities? Because it, it seems like there is one. Like eat cheese or something? Okay, we'll talk to Gaunter. Not gingerbreads now, but flour, honey eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. 
thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all gear from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. I want to listen to this. No, not true. Prove it. How do you know I'm not Geralt? Hmm. Wait. You can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Well, of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you. Meaning, no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Gaunter is enjoying being mean. Like, you can see it. You can see that he is enjoying being mean. I suppose we could say not true, prove it. I'd be interested to see how um, Gaunter tries to prove this. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weight. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you made do with the left of us. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, by the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you. He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgierd told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. Shani, I'm sorry, I... It's all right. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Oh, thanks, Shani. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Geard was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe. And now revel on. Time won't wait. Will do, Shani. Thank you very much. Make quit save. Um, oh, hello? Yes, handsome. See? I am handsome. Everyone's saying everything about me. You know? So I think, I think Vladimir handled himself pretty well there with uh, Gaunter. And Gaunter, you, you could, one thing I'll say about him is he likes to... Uh, tell you what, let me get out of the way of the music for a second. He very much likes to leave out the parts that are nice, and he likes to kind of obviously pick on the things that you're insecure about all the rest. For example, I, I don't... Obviously, I don't necessarily know if he was saying the truth, but I believe Olgir did say that, you know, that five flew at him at once and all the rest, and I believe that Gaunter knew that, and Gaunter specifically didn't tell him that. When Gaunter realized he knew, he was kind of like... 
well, you know, there's something else Soul Gear did that you don't know about, but I'm going to use that against you too, sort of. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what that is. You'll find out as the game goes on. But, um, you know, uh, uh, well, Vladimir, I think you handled yourself well there. You stood up to Gaunter. You didn't let it affect you too badly, and you were just like, look, not true. I like it. I like it. Come on, Shani. Let us continue to revel to the capping ceremony. Oh, you are swanning, Vladimir. You got this, man. Gaunter is just so mean, isn't he? He's just a mean guy. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the capping. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. I shall make a speech, and that's that. <laughs> no, no, we gotta make a speech. No need? Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. For tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farm hands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles, am I right? But this day, this day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this, thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you, and say, you are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. Midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jesterly or lordly stance, out they'll come. In this hour's dance. Toast the lovely corporal, then give them a few weeks. And we'll toast the lovely bear with its hair and puffy cheeks. Don't you mind our song, we all sing to be unkind. We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Brides will hold eternal, bride will best beware. Or she'll make you a corporal in the coming year. What's the groom a thinking, a storm on his brow? Must be said Garland, the years, Garland, Garland, Garland cow. You'll get the cow, <laughs> at the bull, the calf, the hay. So drink and be merry, <laughs> tis your wedding day. As our tradition holds, whoever caught the garland shall be next to wed. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at Old Geard's wedding. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. A lovely custom. Blushing maids, twirling in dance. 
Their hair swirling freely, their bodices undone, their bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't! I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see? She asks after me. Misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions could not tear me away before I receive one more. Or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. It's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling, I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me, and your moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Gods, what is this? Oh. Um. Oh no, he wasn't starting to be a pain. I mean, he was a little bit, but you know, that's not really. That was like really bad. What did you do? I would say that was harsh, but I also kind of- I just want to know what he did. What did you do to him? Sent him back whence he came. I hope you didn't hurt him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so- Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, and, it just so happens, I also know the history you share. You do? How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. True, gotta get going. No, we can stay a bit longer. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <sighs> Never mind. I should find Aldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. Your friend will now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. 
besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. Hmm. Okay, I guess we could... Oh. Hang on. <laughs> Just skip the quest. Hang on. Uh, is it a secondary quest? There you go. Okay. So, read Shani's... Yeah, we'll... we'll... I'm not sleeping with it, guys. Listen. <laughs> it's not happening. No matter what Gaunter says. Is he, is he still there? No, he's... Oh, of course he's not. Um... I feel really bad about Vladimir, though. I mean, he wasn't leaving, which is true, but also, like, that was harsh. Okay. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. Girl entered the Oxford. For oh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Time, okay, we, we get all this. Um, unit of soldiers. Um, there goes Vladimir. Oh, yep, company wedding, usually escort. She, uh, she likes Rowan. We already knew that. I was going to go and get those. Um, a plant near to her heart, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so she likes Rowan. I guess we go to that tree earlier and just get her some Rowan. Um, so she was, she's happy that Vladimir's gone as well. So I just had a brief read through that. I'm not going to read the whole thing, guys. Like, it, we, we literally played what, what it's telling us. Right, I'll make a save. Um, so what is, is there Rowan? Well, well you know, we want to be nice to Shani. Hey, what are you doing? I'm taking all this stuff. Listen, we'll do some some brief. Oh, an emerald. We'll do some brief looting while we're uh, here. I'm. I'll just do this quest, then probably end for today, guys. I was gonna do some other things, but it's actually taken a long time. But you know, I think it's a cool place to end. Um, I'll just finish this off first. I feel like I should do some brief looting. It's been really fun though. I really, I love this quest. I feel really bad for Vladimir. Do I keep the? Oh, I can't check. I was gonna say, see if I um kept the rabbit, the rabbit, the donkey ears. It really does take a dark turn when the the donkey ears come off, you know. So we don't want to bring that. Rowan berry brandy. Shani loves the blossoms. I'd enjoy this as well. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. Question is, will it cheer her up? I'm gonna leave it. Good idea. Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. I feel like I wanted to literally just bring her like a bouquet of those Rowan flowers, you know? Um, I guess I can loot after. I just feel like I just want to grab whatever while I'm here too. So, where are these Rowan things? Um, Good mead ought to lift her spirits. A sip of something strong never... No, I, d I don't think she Good would I want alcohol really. I'll see what the options are. We can loot afterwards, guys. I'll um I'll look for this Rowan thing. I think this was the tree, maybe. A Rowan. Shani mentioned she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Thing is, will it cheer her up? I think so. Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. Geralt, listen. There's a difference between going with the flow and cheating on Yennefer. <laughs> listen, listen, Carol. Oh, we're holding the flowers though. That's pretty cool. Okay, I guess we'll bring her to the, bring them to her. Okay. Hey, get out of the way! Don't be messing with my Rowan flowers. Oh, she sat on the table by herself. Is she crying? Oh, Christ. Um, Shani. Still here? Thought you had to meet Olgird. You and I see each other so rarely. Figured Olgird could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. Oh, you remembered I liked the Rowan. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. The years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. You got me. You got friends. 
I feel like I want to say, I don't want to say you've got friends. I feel like that's a bit, I feel like I want, look, guys, I'm not going to sleep with Shani, but I'm going to be nice and we're, we're, we're friends. You know, we're friends. I'm just, I'm, I'm being nice. You got me. For how long? A day? Two? Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but you come and go. Yet I need someone who'll be there every night when I come home. After a day of bandaging wounds and sewing up guts, I need a good glass and a good laugh with someone who'll help me forget it all for a moment. I get it. And yeah, could never be there for you every day. But I am happy to see you always. And today, I'm all yours. Well, in that case, let's drink to tonight. To tonight. May the moment last. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Did you enjoy the wedding? Wedding's not my thing. It was alright. Yeah, it was alright. Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods, or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <sighs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met. And those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbows in work, but those were good times. They're nice memories. For me too. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, his business is booming. Good. I'm really dear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old butlax. She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that! I'm Vassy! But you can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems the families are bonding. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. Mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau. Even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Unfit? What's that mean? You'd convince her, I'm sure. Um, sorry guys, just while I have the opportunity, it was so nice hearing them talk about Vizima and stuff, because, you know, we've we've literally played from, as I said, 1 to 2 to 3, base game, and now here, and that that's this Geralt right here, it's the same Geralt, we, um, you know, we carried our decisions from 1 to 2, we uh, did the same thing with 2 to 3 pretty much, and, um, yeah, I mean, we didn't, did, did I sleep with Shani in The Witcher 1 at all? I might have. I feel like I probably might have. I don't, th I don't think I did. I think I was with Triss pretty much. But, you know, we still had our moments in The Witcher 1 and the party and stuff with Dandelion, I think. You know? Unfit, what's that mean? Um, you'd convince her, I'm sure. Um, I'd be interested to, yeah. What kind of bow's unfit? <sighs> So far, every kind. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but 
She'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not. But it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But I didn't. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. Well, if they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. I prefer you. That was Vladimir, not me. I'll say that. Ugh. That was Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. Then she finally walks up, and you know exactly what she wants. What do you do? Oh, come on! What are these options, game? I can't... Look! <laughs> I go with her. Oh, yeah, sure. Let her down easy. I prefer you. Uh, oh, God, girl, this is not... This is not okay. Look, we can't... Either way, we're, we're kind of... Guys, I'm in a situation here. Look, we're, we're behind the front lines now, everyone. We're... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. No, we're behind the front lines. We're behind enemy lines. Either or, we're behind some sort of line and it has been crossed. Look, I'm not going to sleep with Shani, all right? It's not happening because I would feel permanent. Like, imagine we get to the end of Blood and Wine and like, oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not spoiling anything, guys. But then I'm just like, I have this immediate guilt. I would have immediate guilt. I would be like, uh, yeah, love you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, f I'm saying this, guys, but I'm not sleep- Right, I have to say this, because I- I don't- <laughs> huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Hmm, change to style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Cause I have. Guess who? Gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. Geralt. What kiss? Stop it, the Geralt. The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. No, Geralt. 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 Only one Geralt. way to find Stop out. it. No, no, this is not no Geralt, 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 Geralt. Stop it, Geralt. Stop it, Geralt. This is not this is not this is not the agreement. Listen, Ger Geralt, 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 I did not consent to this. This is not this is not what I meant. Fuck! Uh, yeah, guys, so uh yeah, we just had a uh, uh a crash. Yes, the game crashed. Oh god, I don't know what happened, you know, it just we had I had this weird vision of like an alternate reality where you know, I unintentionally got baited into to making out with Shani and having permanent guilt. Um, so yeah, uh, weird alternate universe. Don't know what happened there. Weird little um, strange, like like oh, you know, what could have been type thing. Um, I, I guess we go with uh, yeah. So I've, I've decided I'm gonna go for this option. You know, this is what I was gonna click, but obviously the game crashed. You know, what are we gonna do? Huh. Put it that way, and I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> A witcher never lets an opportunity pass, is that it? No, he does, if he spots a better one nearby. Ooh, gorgeous.
Been thinking about that kiss. Geralt? What? What kiss? How do I the not kiss her? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? How do I avoid this? Um, <clears throat> okay guys, uh, turns out we can't really avoid what's about to happen because I decided to pursue this quest, um, <laughs> and give you the content. So, although I will now have a, 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 a little, a little, a little bit of unavoidable guilt towards a certain person, um, you know, we're gonna put it off as a one night drunken mistake after our party being possessed by a ghost, you know, and gone to dim and stuff. I look, guys, I can't avoid this. <laughs> Believe me, I've been trying to work it out. I was like, oh, hang on, wait, I can't avoid this. So, um, yeah, I guess this is happening. Um, I'll do the dialogue option I initially uh clicked, and I'll um, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, wonderful. Huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Hmm, changed your style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Cause I have. Guess who? Ooh, gorgeous. Been thinking about that kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips, with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. So, how'd it compare? Oh, it was it was great, Shani. Uh, for fuck's sake, <laughs> guys, what what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Like like what, what what am I supposed to do here? Do I just say, oh, it was different? Yeah, you suck. <laughs> I, I can't say that. Look. Look, everyone, I was forced into this. This is not something I wanted to do or consented to. It is something that has happened and I can no longer avoid. Unless I go massively back and just say, you know, previously when it's like, oh, girl, I guess you're going to go and see old kid. It's like, yeah, peace. I don't want to do that. Look, I have to, I have to apologize to Yennefer. I'm going to put it down to some re residual Vladimir still in the brain. It's the scar. You see the scar on my face? It was, uh, this is scar, girl. This is like the alternate universe. God damn it, man. How, I, I literally... Oh, guys, guys, look. I know some of you are probably sat there and you're like, Oh, God, dude, just like, oh, why are you being so... But guys, listen, I've been so good the whole game. I, I didn't sleep with Kira. I didn't sleep with Triss. I didn't sleep with Sasha. I didn't sleep with Yutta or Jutta, whatever the hell her name was. I didn't sleep with anyone. I've been so good. I've been a good boy, you know, with Yennefer. I've been like, yeah, Yennefer, I'll spend the rest of my life with you. You know, we're going to be together. Then, boom, forced into a kiss. Fuck. <laughs> uh, you know what? I feel I may as well just go with it now. I'm not gonna sleep with her, but I'm gonna be nice. Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so openly, in fact. All true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather go back now? Right, let's go back. I'm sorry, guys. You know me. I can't be going that far. I'm sorry. Love to stay. I would. But we ought to get back to the wedding. Oh, yes. Yes. That's best. Penny for your thoughts? Just thinking that friends should stay friends. Mm-hmm. My feeling, too. I have a lot to think about. Alone. So I'm not going back to the wedding. Not really fond of watching drunks stagger around, anyway. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgird. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. 
Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. Guys, Yennefer cannot find out about this, okay? Look, we didn't sleep with her. We could have gone that far. Look, like, guys. <laughs> you, you, you really twisted my arm here, Witcher. You really twisted my arm into that one. You know, I... <laughs> The whole game have been so good. Uh, God damn it. God damn it, guys. Look, look, Yennefer cannot find out about us, us and the, 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 she's, you know, she's not a university student anymore, guys. She's a doc, she's a doctor. She has her own practice. She's an adult. She's a full grown, you know, but that doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. That's not the point. I'm going to do some freaking, um, some hoarding <laughs> to, to, to feel better. <laughs> hoard. <laughs> we need to hoard to be, <laughs> I can't believe that. I cannot believe- oh my god, okay. I completely forgot that if you continue with that quest, it just forces you into a kiss. Because to be honest, guys, in the past when I played the game, I guess I've just sort of been like, Oh yeah, hop shiny, oh, kiss, cool. But, you know, this is a- this is a big old, like, endeavor. It's a two-year playthrough, you know? I'm- and I'm- and I'm- I'm out here just kissing whoever. Well, not really. You know what? As I said at the end there, as Shani said, sometimes it's good if friends just stay friends, and and that's ultimately she did. She, see, she tried to freaking she turned the friend zone around on us. Then we were the one that was like, let's go back, and she was the one that was like, oh yeah, friends should stay friends. Yeah, yeah, we're not doing anything. Yeah, my my decision. It's like okay, okay, you know, we made that decision, guys. We were a good guy. The party has apparently just ended. I don't know what has happened. Oh, they're all drunk. Oh, they are all drunk. I think. Um. God damn it, guys. God damn it. You know, that was unavoidable. That was unavo- well, we could have just not done the mission, but I can't leave Shani like that, you know, and I wouldn't have been able to ask her to look into Olgid and stuff. It had to be done. Listen, Yennefer will never find out. We, we will we will ask, um, Triss? Maybe, I don't know, who do we know? We'll ask Triss. No, we'll ask Ermian. Ermian, yeah, he, he looks like he can keep a secret, you know, he's, he's, he's like, you know, he's, he's kind of insane already, sort of. A little bit insane. He, he, he can put a block in our head for that particular memory. We can axie ourselves. We can, like, look in a mirror and axie ourselves and try and forget about it. Hey, what's this? Oh, is this from the... Okay. You know, that's that's what we're going to do. Listen. It, it happened, all right, guys? That happened. We were drunk at a party. This is the classic story. Our Geralt is no longer squeaky clean. He was not squeaky clean if you go by The Witcher 1 and 2, but he'd lost his memory. He is of, of his full memory now, guys. He is of his... I did drink earlier on in the night, though. <laughs> And I was slightly drunk for about a second. And I had a ghost possessing oh. me at points, you know? Oh, God, mate. I can't excuse this, really. It's happened. I'm, I, I feel like you guys are pretty sick of me talking about this. But you got to understand, guys. you got to understand, all right? God damn it. God damn it. You know, I've kind of... Honestly, that event there almost made me forget about the fact we, we kind of just watched Vladimir get half-tortured to death. You know, that, that was kind of weird. Oh, list of wedding guests. Is Shani on here? Shani isn't even on here. I see some people here. Um, I don't see Shani. I see something about being a spoon thief. I'm gonna assume these are probably game devs or something. I don't know. Right. Guys, oh my god. Look. Let's move on. Let's move- that never happened. That was, um, that was something that happened, and it's a thing that, that happened, and we, you know, it- it's done, okay? It's done. <laughs> God damn it. Gaunter Best made that happen, guys. I'm blaming Gaunter. Gaunter is the one we blame for all these things. Hey, pigs. Gaunter is the one we blame. Gaunter made us do that. That was not uh, something that we wanted to do. You know, plenty of things have happened tonight. We lost a game of Gwen as uh, Vladimir. We, we had to force lose it in order to get little deer ears. Do we still have the deer ears? That Oh my god, we still have the freaking ears. I can literally... Oh my god, I can put them on at any point. Look at this, guys. This is what we wanted. This is the, the sort of gameplay I was after. Holy crap. Okay. You know what, guys? I'll leave the ears on. I'll leave the ears on. Uh, no, you know what? These ears, they're for special occasions only. You know? I don't know what special occasions. Maybe during during all the, the major cutscenes. Okay. Christ. Every box is swine. That's all I've got to say. Song list. Uh, nice. Okay. Okay, I think I've got everything, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna end today's part. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, I'm going to end today's Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone Part 2 or Part 49, I think. Um, I'm going to end it there. 
Um, it's been a really fun part, obviously. We did one of the most... Well, we haven't quite finished. We've got to finish that next time by going to see an all geared. But we basically have finished the one of the first, I guess, tasks all geared set us. We still have another two. And also we got all the, um, you know, we got all the side quests and stuff to do. Next time I'll probably start with um, finishing off, I want to say, the enchanting one. And where is it? Um... The other one, the one that he wants me to go and like mine something and, and the guy that wants me to go and uh, th that one, that one. And then also I want to get some of these other ones done, but um, I'll probably be doing the... Uh, I'm coming down with a fever. Uh, cool. Um, I'll probably be doing uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe like half of the heist one next time as well. Something like that, or maybe the full heist. We'll see how long it takes. This was a long mission, so if it's as long as this or longer, then obviously I, I kind of maybe I will only be able to do half of it. Back. You know, I might have to move. Because these guys are, like, shouting at me and stuff, and it's annoying. It looks like they're walking away. I'm going to ignore them. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, so, obviously, we had a bit of a, a thing at the end there with Shani. It could have gone much further, and that is what I will tell myself. <laughs> we kissed her. We thought, hang on, you know what? Never seen so many it's better we're life. just friends. I'm going to be honest, guys. I know you might be like, oh, this is a bad excuse. But, to be honest, I feel like Yennefer will have 100% kissed another dude since we last saw her. And I'm, I'm just saying that based on the books. Obviously, we had our whole thing. Look, I'm moving. This guy's annoying. Um, obviously, we had our whole thing in the... Um uh, what's it called? Uh, sorry, they had, Yennefer had her whole thing in the books and all the rest, so there, there is sort of an element of maybe, maybe she probably would kiss another mage or something during the time, what's and we wouldn't find out. There? Look, I'm moving out of here. Okay, guys, I found a new spot. That guy was annoying me. <laughs> He's still over there, but I think we're far enough away he won't follow me and start talking to me. Um, yeah, so yeah, anyway. Okay, this, this, this is, this is, this is, look, look, look. Go away. <laughs> Okay, guys, I found a new place. <laughs> Too many peasants in there shouting at me. They're literally called peasants, okay? Right, we're going to end today's Witcher 3 part there. I hope you've all enjoyed. Be, well, Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone part there. I hope you've all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to like today's video to let me know you want me to do more Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone parts and continue into Blood and Wine, all the rest. Liking it's really helpful. Obviously, I guess these videos don't do as well as the other ones, so liking it's just really helpful, so I really do appreciate that. Um, comment down below what you thought of today's part. Thanks to anyone that subscribed. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Glad to put you into these parts and all the rest. I, I really do appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, just thank you all so much. But anyway, guys, that's the end of today's Witcher 3 Hearts of Stone part. And I'll see you in the next one. Have an awesome rest of the week.